Hey, hey, everybody. It is Hitman23, and I am live. I am live. I got a mega mail day today, and I figured, what the hell? I'm going to go live. Hey, it's been crazy. My son uh, earned his Eagle Award today, so we had that uh, ceremony just before, and then him and his friend are in a little fender bender, and I'm a little... I'm a little bent right now and I need to vent. So <laughs> I just like, when I was like, what do you do? You're all upset. I'm like, I'm going to go live and make a video. So hopefully people are out there and they're going to come on and hang with me and watch. I just got a whole bunch of cards in the mail. Um, extremely Oakland A's centric. Um, I've been on a complete, um, I, you know, Oakland A's craze in the last few weeks. Um, I, they are my second favorite team. Um, they're my, my they're my side chick team. So I've always loved the A's. Um, they've got some cool looking cards, and I just kind of been going nuts. I've been doing a Chris Davis extravaganza, picking up a bunch of Chris Davis stuff, and just uh, you know going nuts. So I picked up a pretty large quantity of um, of A's cards. Uh, a couple of days ago, and I think it, the guy I got them from was in, in Sebring, Florida, which isn't too far. And I got them in the mail today. I literally, I think I bought it Thursday and paid for it, and it's here today. So I was shocked, shocked to get it that quick. Um, there's over 1,300 cards in there. So who the hell knows how long I will be live showing what I got? Because I'm going to be rummaging through this box. And, uh, and that's it. So. I'm going to wait a few more minutes, see if people pop on. I know it's early on Saturday uh, here on the East Coast. It's a little past, past, yeah, a little past 6. So on the uh, the left coast, you're past a little past 3 o'clock. So I don't know how many of you guys out there are going to be on YouTube watching right now. But here I am, and I'm just going to start going, whether there are people here or not. Um, it will be archived, so and it will be long. So, um you can watch it later if you'd like. So um, first things first. Um, let's see here. I got this big old, big old priority mailbox full of A's cards. Yes, you heard me correctly, full of A's cards. And I'm not expecting anything too crazy in here, just fun stuff. Um, I love picking this stuff up. And I was just actually funny telling my wife that – I, during certain parts of the season and the year, I kind of go through different waves of my collecting habits. Like this time of year, it's new product. I kind of go with the new product that's coming out and, you know, buying buying packs and opening stuff. And then, you know, just kind of filling in binder stuff and, and buying rando things for my binders. Um, I don't really have a focus collecting. I am all over the damn place. And uh, that's just how I do it. And that's how I like it. Um, and toward the end of the year, you know, October, November, December, when baseball season's over, that's when I tend to get a little more focused. I get a little more, um, I change my buying habits and I do tend to go more toward quality over quantity. Right now I'm in a quantity mood. Um, I've been getting rid of a ton of cards. I've been going through my stuff and putting stuff aside for people, um, getting care packages ready to go out putting boxes aside to go to Goodwill, just trying to get rid of some of the dead wood um, and put aside stuff that I think people would like. Um, and of course, bringing other newer stuff in. So um, the first thing I do, well, actually the first thing I got, the first thing I got is this uh, pretty nice 22 lot 1970 tops Oakland A's partial team set. Um, Cause I am doing um, A's team sets. Hi, Lisa, how you doing? You're live. Hi. No, nobody's on with me. So. No one is? No, not right now. Why? Because I'm sad. I'm lame because it's early on Saturday and people are probably out have drinking. No I have no life. So I picked up this pretty nice uh, lot of um, Oakland A's cards, 1970 tops, um, which I've, um, I've come to realize that 1970 tops is kind of an underrated set in a lot of ways. Um, I used to hate it as a kid. 
I hated the gray borders, just very bland to me pictures. But now I've gotten older and, I'm, you know, my brain cells have matured a little bit more. I've come to like a lot of the uh, 1970s uh, cards. Um, yeah, there are some bums in there. You know, the, the airbrushed plane, you know, just no hat headshots kind of suck. But I see somebody on, hello, whoever you are, just say, hello, who's out there with me? Hey, what's up, John? How you doing, man? So this is me, a long one, man. I don't know. I might need a few Cuban coffees to get through this one. I might need a few shots of wine or something. I don't know. But I got a ton of stuff to go through. So if you want to hang, brother, I am here. I'm here for the duration. I got nothing going on tonight. But I picked up this lot of Oakland A's, 1970 Oakland A's. And uh, this would be the first thing I'm going through. So I am kind of going back and doing um, team sets for the uh, Oakland A's. Um, not sure if I'll go beyond like Oakland A's and go into the K KCA's, but I know I'm doing, you know, the 69 or 68. Yeah, 68 and above. I'm going to try to put all those team sets together. Are you doing the same thing with the A's? Are you doing the same thing with another team? Or are you just hanging and just relaxing today? <laughs> It's been so long since I've been on YouTube, man. Um, I, I feel bad, like, sometimes because I'm, like, not on as much. But I did a video today, and I just said, if I don't feel motivated to make a video, I'm just not going to do one. Um, you know, I've been getting stuff in, going through it, and I just haven't felt like making videos of it. I'll get to it when I get to those binders or whatever. But the last couple of days, I've been more into it, and I just need some YouTube therapy. Um, but, dude, i got a ton of stuff put aside for you. I cannot wait to give it to you. I'm probably just going to give it to you when I see you in June. Um, i got just a ton of Marlins cards. Um, i got a, I got some Mar Marinos, and i got some I got some Dwayne Wades for you, man. I could pick some up at the show. Um, you like the Red Sox too, right? Because I will go through and pull whatever Red Sox I have together for you and do that, right? You like the Red Sox, correct? I, I know you do, but I'm just going to make 100% sure. So the first card is the uh, – it's actually a high number. It's the Jim Rowland card. Now, I don't know. this. The lighting here is kind of off, but the Jim Rowland, it's a high number, card number 719. No, the glare is that way, not behind me. Actually, it's good. And then I got the Paul Lindblad. There's not many – I don't think there's many cards. Get red. All right, dude, you got it. I'm going to put as many Red Sox aside for you as possible. You got it. Um, Paul Lindblad, he was a really good reliever for the A's in their heyday. Um, I don't know. That lighting is kind of weird, but there's that. And there's John McNamara, the old manager. I love that card because he's right at the cage there, and I think those are badass cards. And Al Downing. All right, trivia question about Al Downing. He gave up a big home run to somebody. Who hit a huge home run off of Al Downing? One of the biggest home runs in the history of the, the sport. Who hit it? Come on! You know it, John. You know it, man. Who hit the big, big, big home run off of Al Downing? In 1974. Hit. Chuck Dobson. This guy is famous because he is the dude sliding in to the home plate area on the 1971 tops Thurman Munson card. This is the guy sliding into Thurman at the plate in that amazing action photo. Chuck Dobson. You weren't born yet. So, but you got to know you got to know 1974 a huge home run was hit. 87, oh you're a young man. You're almost young enough to be my son. <laughs> 1974 Think about it. Who hit a huge home run in 1974? Big, 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 big home run. Nice Vita Blue rookie. I think actually my, my second one of those. Actually, it's a nice rookie card. It's got Vita Blue and Gene Tennis on there. So that's a pretty nice card. Think about it. It was a National League team. Hall of Famer. Tito Francona, another high number card, 663. I actually paid really pretty low money for this set. 
22 cards. I think I paid shipped. It was like 12 bucks. And there's some high numbers in here. Ray Euler. Ray Euler. Another high number, 603. I love those old, early 70s A's uniforms. They are just freaking beautiful. Dick Green. Dick Green. It's a nice looking card right there. Sharpie. Ah, Blue Moon Odom. That's sweet. Who else is on? Who else is on? Hello out there. Come one, come all. Felipe Alou. He was on the Braves prior to that. So that card's classic because it's probably him in his Braves uniform. That's why he's not wearing the hat and stuff. So that's they did that a lot in 1970. They either airbrushed him or um, didn't have a cap on because they were traded and stuff. So um, actually 69, 68, 70, those years are classic for that kind of stuff. Ah, somebody was on and off. I guess I put him asleep. Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson. Another high number card, 693. And here's another um, A's rookie. we got Bobby Brooks and Mike Olivo. And John, who is it, man? Who, who, who hit the big home run off Al, Al Downing in 1974 to break an all-time record? George, what is his name? Laus Lager Lagerik Lagerik Lagerik. Sounds like a beer. Lagerik. It's a cool card. I like that. No, come on, you know it. Come on, dude. 1974 broke an all-time, long-standing, all-time home run record. Who was it? Hit the home run off of Al Downing. In Atlanta. <laughs> In fact, who was playing? Who was playing left field for the Dodgers that day? It was it was Bill Buckner, and he climbed the wall to try to catch the ball. In the old the footage. Come on, you can do it. You got this, man. I have faith in you, bro. Jose Tartable. Jose Tartable. That is Daddy of Danny. Daddy of Danny. Lou Carus. John, is this coming through pretty clear, man? Oh, this is a nice one. The Burt Campanaris is really sweet. Burt Campanaris. Very nice looking card. Can't wait to put these in the binder pages. Sal Bando. That's a second year Bando. Actually, no. Actually, I think he had a rookie card in the 68 tops, I believe. Just a nice looking card there. Another swinging A, Joe Rudy. Classic A's player. Burt Campanaris, you actually know him, man? You've met him before? Oh, you know who I gotta start, dude? You know, you know, you know what guy I gotta start collecting their cards for my food book, dude? I couldn't believe when I was going through my food name book, Cookie Rojas. He needs to be in my food name book. He's not. I'm like, I gotta get Cookie Rojas in there. That's classic. The food name, the glasses, the whole nine. Cookie is, yeah, he's right. He is. I knew he was Cuban. Yep, Tommy Reynolds. That's a nice – I love those old bat barrel cards. I like when they did the bat barrel cards, when they're swinging, they're shooting down the bat barrel. That's a classic-looking card. Two more, Fred Talbot, and he played for three teams in 1969. He played for the Yankees, the Seattle Pilots, and the Oakland A's. So it looks like he's in his Yankee uniform there because I see pinstripes. So that – and last but not least, Ron Clark. He also played for Minnesota and Seattle in 69. So henceforth, no hat. 
There we go. Yeah, actually, my um, I'm a, I have a good friend who knows his family very, very well. Yep, yep, yep. Knows his family very well. I don't know if Cookie Rojas' sister is friends with my friend's aunt or something like that. But, yeah, knows him very well. So next, that was the 70s top set. Now, again, like I said, this is all Oakland A stuff. This is everything Oakland A. So this is huge box of uh, priority mail. There's over 1,300 cards and stuff in this box. So top, the box topper that came on top came this little Jose Canseco card. Fellow Cubano. Cookie? You need cookies, uh, cookies, uh, auto? You know, let me see, man. I can't promise anything. Let me talk to my friend and see if there's any way I might be able to get his autograph. Let me see. What friend? Marilyn. Marilyn's good friends with, uh, her, her family's good friends with Cookie Rojas's family. Really? Yeah. Yep. I think they... I think I want to say they grew up together in Cuba or something. Yeah. So I, I forget, but they, yes, that's pretty cool. It's like a greeting card and inside it says Jose can't say go. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty snaz. And then this is pretty cool. I didn't expect this in here. Uh, this is from 1990 tops baseball magazine. The winter of 1990, and it's got Jose on the front. That's damn cool. And it's got Donnie Baseball right there. I'm psyched about that. I am so – I could kill myself, man. I get rid of all these magazines I had when I was younger, all my Beckett's. I got rid of when I moved. I just couldn't move at all, and I dumped them, and I'm so aggravated because I had some really cool stuff from back in the day. But this is definitely going to be fun to thumb through and check out. Oh, man. oh, this is actually pretty cool. They have a poster of the 1990 Tops checklist, all photographs of the cards. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Which one did you get, man? Did you get the uh, the Tops, the Fleer, the Donruss? So that's cool. And then I got this. I got this floating head of Eckersley. <laughs> Hello, it's Dennis Eckersley. How you doing? Come and watch Hitman's page. He's live. Nice, dude. Actually, I love his top rookie card. It's my favorite one of them. I mean, I know the, the Donruss is the best, you know, the best one to have, but I just love the photo on the tops. That's just a great, great card. Such a good card. This is kind of this is kind of cool. I like this. I come on here as Dennis Eckersley now. Dennis I can see live from Hitman's condo in Naples. Hey, what's up, Phil? How you doing, brother? Oh, Bronx Bomber came to see you. That's cool. You're in Wilmington, Mass., right, Phil? That's what I figured. That's the only Wilmington I know in Massachusetts is Wilmington. So. <laughs> Phil que bola chico. Yes, actually, I'm one of the poor people. <laughs> My wife's a teacher, and I'm a medical assistant. Do the math. It doesn't quite compute here in Naples very well. <laughs> Phil, I used to live, dude, I used to live in Hooksit, New Hampshire, which is about, what, 30 minutes from Wilmington. Straight down 93, brother. I was up there for about 11 years. I lived in Manchester, and I lived in Hooksit. So I used to go to the show at the Shriners all the time. I loved that show. That's why when I see stuff in there, I'm like, oh, I missed it so much, man. I missed this, the Shriners show. It's such a cool show. But Dennis Eckersley says, Shriners show is the best ever. All right. What else do we got here? All right, I got a bunch of packing peanuts. So I gotta I gotta wade through these packing peanuts real quick. That's the one thing I should have done before I got on live because now I got ass loads of packing peanuts. Hey Phil, I gotta you know I never went to the I knew I heard something about a, a flea market in Salem, New Hampshire back in the day. I never went to it. I um I used to uh I used to go to the show in um 
in Wilmington. And I also used to, there was a, a card, a card store in, um, in Manchester called collector's heaven or collector's haven. And, um, Oh, so you're a New Hampshireite. Nice, man. Nice. But I used to go to the one in Manchester. Um, the guy's name is Mike and his wife's name is Karen. They always treat me really well. They had some really awesome stuff in there, but they actually since closed since I moved away. I left New Hampshire five years ago, and they have since closed shop. So I don't know what where people go now if they want to LCS. I know uh, I know Jay goes over somewhere in Greenland, Greenland, New Hampshire. Yeah, I know. It's sad, man. It's sad. It's a very sad mark on society that all the, the, the baseball card shops closed down, or most of them did. But I, I wanted to ask you: Are you are you thinking up ramping up um, on the uh, rookie explosion boxes in terms of numbers? Um, I was just curious because I keep missing them, man. And I, I, I really can't do a subscription right now, but I'd love to pop on once in a blue moon and grab one. But, man, it's awesome that you're selling them so quick. I am, like, amazed that those things are blowing out like they are. You're doing a great job with those. I think I didn't – I saw a little, like, clip, but I think somebody just pulled a gold jeter, right? I think I saw something about that. That's freaking awesome. 108. Wow, dude. Oh, cool, dude. That would be awesome. Wow, 100. Wow, that's a big jump. That's awesome. That would be great. So I know I was able to get on the first uh, the first one and i uh, been wanting to do another one. But my son to actually – oh, God, dude, that's awesome. Psych for him. Oh, I got I to gotta message him. I, I, I got to uh, – yeah, I got to message him. That's great. Um, one of my buddies pulled a – Gold Derek Jeter rookie card from the um, the rookie card explosion box that we've been buying from through one of our YouTube buddies. He just, oh man, my wife wants to know how much the card's worth. Uh, in a ten, and if it's graded at ten, I'm guessing guys what five hundred. I don't know. I haven't looked, but if it's graded at ten, it's 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 good. It's a good one. Yeah, that I gotta watch that. I got. <laughs> I can't believe. I saw a little like what thumbnail and I didn't realize it was uh it was Brian. So now I definitely gotta I gotta jump on that. Nine fifty in a ten. So nine fifty. Hey, what's up, man? Arkham Pizzy. Arkham Pizzy. How you doing, Arkham Pizzy? Thanks for jumping on, man. I'm just doing a uh, mail day. Um nine fifty. Damn, damn. That gold Derek Jeter card, if you get it great and it comes back at 10, it's worth 950 bucks. That's what people are, you know, getting for it. I, I have a regular version and it's not great, not the gold version. So I picked up a lot of open A's. And uh, oh, it's this one just sold for you know, old flip. Man, you, you, you just sold one, brother? You sold a gold Jeter? Oh, I have over 1,300 cards to go through. I, I, I actually, yes, I am an A's fan, but they're my, they're my side chick. I'm a Yankees fan through and through, but the a, the Oakland A's are, are my side chick team. I love the A's too, man. Um, I've always, ever since Ricky Henderson, I've loved the A's. Oh, okay. I was like, damn boy, you're hot for hot stuff there. So I picked up this entire box of Oakland A stuff, and I'm really psyched to see what's in it. So I got this. Um, this is kind of cool. All right. So this is going to be a long-ass video. Matt Chapman, go. That dude, did you see the play he made last night? Dude, he has nothing get by him. That guy can play freaking third like I've never seen, man. He is unbelievable. Ricky Henderson. Freaking amazing. He's my second favorite all-time, not only baseball player, but my second favorite all-time athlete behind Donnie Baseball. Yeah, you knew I had to say that, but Ricky, man, I nobody will ever touch Ricky. Uh, the greatest leadoff hitter in the history of the game. 
man, I, we, I, you know, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but this is kind of cool, man. There's going to be some cool stuff in here. Um, I am going to be on here for quite some time because there are a ton of cards to go through. And it looks like it's um, the first little stack I pulled is very Ben Grieve heavy. Now, Ben Grieve was a very highly touted prospect for the A's in the early 2000s. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. The mid 90s. Yeah, mid 90s, like 94, 95, 96. Uh, but this first card is this kind of cool um, stand up from uh, this is from Pinnacle, I think. Man, my eyes are bad, boys. My eyes are bad. Stand up guys. It's got Paul Canerco on it, it's got Ben Grieve. Um, it looks like it might have Fernando Tatis because I, I didn't, I'm not pulling up the card, but you have to open it up. I've actually never seen these before. But it looks like if you open this up and you can stand it up, this is a stand up, stand up guys on there. I love this weird stuff. Do I? Come? I don't. Do you, is um? Do you hear stuff in the background? It's my son. It's my son on his phone. If you hear something, I know. I don't do. Uh, I don't do live games. But that's kind of cool. That's a unique little thing. So I'm in, I was just explaining to my wife before about like my buying habits and how I buy things throughout the year. Like this time of year, I'm kind of doing the, you know, product, you know, open pack, open in packs, buying retail, um, hitting my binders. I'm a huge binder guy. I haven't even gone really anywhere near my binders in terms of YouTube yet. I've got over like, I'm close to over 80 binders of players and sets and teams and stuff. So I haven't even touched that yet. So I just kind of been building that stuff over the years. I got tons of PCs. Um, that's just how I, I kind of collect. Like my mentality in, in collecting is kind of like an old school card shop. Like you'd go into an old school card shop back in the eighties and you'd ask for like the, you know, can I have the Tony Gwynn binder or the, you know, the Mike Schmidt binder. And so that's how I remember buying cards. So that's how I kind of like modeled my collecting after is like you go into my, where I keep my cards somewhere in my bedroom, somewhere in the closet. And my, I have binders, just, you know, play, you know, Hall of Famers in this binder, young players in this binder, specific players in other binders. And that's how I do it. And I do have sets and binders too. Um, so I have a ton of binders. And this project here is more of a binder project, my Oakland A's binders. And I'm just building sets as I go along, rando stuff. And it's just fun pop finding this stuff. And this one looks like this is out of 94 tops. I believe this is a 94 tops, either 94 or 95. It's just a, a Scott Spezio rookie there. And how can you not love the Oakland A's uniforms? Probably the best, even saying this as a Yankee fan, I love the Yankee uniform. I, nothing to me beats the Oakland A's uniform. That thing is just classy, awesome, badass. Love it. Love it. Yes, old school, man. I'm going to be the big this year, man. It's coming up. Coming up, man. Coming up. Uh, this is Top Gold Label. Again, this is out of uh, uh, Don't Know, but it's a Ben Grieve. It's a Class B. Ben Grieve. Another Ben Grieve. Uh, uh, upper Deck MVP. This looks like it's out of 2000 Upper Deck MVP. And another, this is a Topps Gallery Ben Grieve permanent collection. Looks like some sort of insert or parallel. Uh, this looks like a 98. So I was hoping like Oakland A's 915 or Schmitty would pop on or Psyched on Baseball Cards or Titanic Taters so they could school me on some of this stuff. And then it looks like a Topps Gallery um just a regular one and this is from 1998 as well this was like the regular issue yeah ben grieve didn't do much he was uh after his a's career was over he was dealt and or signed with the uh the, De the devil rays at the time and really didn't do much with them either so and then this is a nice and shiny omega shine 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 so even though you know these aren't great cards in terms of collectability and people want them i think they're just beautiful they're beautiful looking cards and a couple more ben grieve this is impact and this is out of 
2019. Oh, 2000 Impact. 2000 Impact. And no, I'm not going to make a Ben Grieve PC. <laughs> and this is a uh, Top Stars. Kind of a cool little card here. Again, year, I'm not sure. Because I am just completely blind. Thank you, Arm Pizzy. Arkham, Arkham Pizzy. Hey, Arkham Asylum. <laughs> I thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate your time. Um, I'm probably going to be on here for hours, so I'm going to probably be streaming? talking to myself for hours. Are you live streaming? I am live streaming, yes. Uh, ben Grieve again here is a 90, uh, 94 tops draft pick. That's one of his rookie cards. A rookie class from Upper Deck. Choice, collector's choice. And we got a, another tops. This is a 98 tops. Rookie card of Ben Grieve and a rookie card of who's that? Brian Buchanan. He may have had a very short cup of coffee with the Yankees. I have an iPhone. Yes. I do. I do. Dude, we could freaking, uh, what's going to call it? We could uh, FaceTime if you want. And this is a uh, pinnacle. Inside is another rookie of Ben Grieve. Oh, we're going to be Ben Grieved out. Score, rookie of Ben Grieve. FaceTime, yes. That'd be great, man. I'd love to. And then just a real pinnacle rookie of Ben Grieve. These are all probably between 94s and 95, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah. J Dog, what's up, man? How you doing? Hi. <laughs> How you been, brother? I'm in an Oakland A's bender. They're my they're my side chick team. They're my side chick. So anything A's, I'm I'm all about. So right now I'm just plowing through this box. And the first stack I picked is a bunch of Ben Grieve cards. So I know you may not you may not appreciate this, but it's just fun. I was bored. My brain was freaking exploding because my son got into another little fender bender and I'm ready to I'm ready to, you know, I'm ready to mm, mm, but <laughs> I always do FaceTime or message video. Watch the YouTube brothers. Aha. He was, man. He was, Phil. He actually had, you know, he came up and had some decent decent stuff with the A's. He just never, you know, he never sustained anything. Victor, what is up, my Yankee brother? I got two Yankee brothers on here now. Woo! Yankees. <laughs> yes, he was. He actually didn't have a he, – he was uh, – he wasn't an awful player. He just didn't pan out to what I think the expectations were. Um, this is a nice one. The rookie class, uh, tops rookie class. I like that little shine there. I cannot wait to see what what's in the rest of this box, dude. There's over thirteen hundred cards in this box, so this could be going on till like four in the morning. And this is one of those four sport. Oh, and I got this cool thing too. So if I ever feel like bringing on Dennis Eckersley, I can bring on Dennis Eckersley. Hey, everybody, it's Dennis Eckersley. How you doing? Welcome to Hitman's channel. He's showing off some ace cards. Welcome aboard. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. Who else is on? Who else is on? Oh, are we drinking tonight? You know, Victor, my wife asked me before if I needed a little something, something. She goes, you want some wine? I say, I think I need something a little stronger. I got a bottle of Hornitos burning a hole in my liquor cabinet over there. We'll see. We'll see. Not Nothing like last time, though, man. Nothing like last time. Hell to the no. Uh, this is kind of a cool, this special edition Upper Deck Ben Grieve. This is uh, Tom Grieve's son. Tom Grieve came up in the early 70s with the Senators, and uh, he played for a few years with them and, you know, the Rangers. That's a nice shiny card. Shine, shine, shine all around for y'all. And then there's a, just a stack of these. Uh, this one says five sport. 
those classic those classic cards from the 90s. What? And this one, I don't, I again, my blind, my blindness is some unlicensed thing. I don't know. Some weird stuff. Yeah, dude, I was, um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, don't know what to say about that one. Because when I wound up waking up wherever I was, I actually wound up in my, uh, I wound up on the floor in my son's room. Jumped up and said, holy crap, I think I'm still recording. So I don't know who the hell knows what could have happened during that time. I have no idea. <laughs> Neon Dion, I'm assuming in a Yankee, in a Yankee uniform. Right, Jerome? It has to be, right? Now, this is kind of cool. This is a prism. This is a 99 prism. So that's kind of cool. little shine there. So I know this box is chock full of '90s stuff. So it's probably gonna be a lot of nice, cool, shiny stuff. That's uh, that's neat. Then I got a Star Quest, Upper Deck Choice Star Quest. Yes, yes, that's I. Uh, yeah, no, I, I should, I shouldn't even, dude. How stupid of, of uh, am I to even ask that? Of course. <laughs> that blue foil there, it's pretty cool. And Ben Grieve, instant win. You crash the game. This is out of collector's choice. It looks like just like a game card. I kind of dig these kind of game card things. They're kind of cool. I like that kind of stuff. And then we got a challenge for 70. 70 what? 70. The Athletics Ben Grieve made his way to the big leagues on the strength of a batting stroke. Ooh, he said stroke. That produced 40 home runs in the minors in 1997. In his first year in Oakland, he mashed 18 taters and ran away with the AL Rookie of the Year award. That's right. He did win, win Rookie of the Year award. I forgot about that. But, um, yeah, I think 70 is a little stretch there. <laughs> a little stretch. But, nonetheless, a very cool card, which I've never seen before. I've never seen that series. So, it's cool to see stuff I've never seen. And then we got this um, 1998 Tops, all Tops rookies. And it's got Travis Lee, Todd Helton, and Ben Grieve on it. So that would be cool because actually that card, that card will go in my Todd Helton PC because I really like Todd Helton. He was a great player. Uh, we'll see if he makes the Hall of Fame. But uh, this guy here too, Travis Lee, came up as a huge prospect could really play first base defensively great. And he actually met, might have spent a, a day or two with the Yankees back in the early to late 90s, early 2000s. I believe he did. But, uh, you know, again, another kind of sweet lefty swinger. Could really pick it at first. Touted high, but really didn't, you know, pan out. Uh, but that's cool. Dig that. He said stroke. <laughs> Ah, uh, what's this one? O S U T A S R. I don't know what the heck that says, but it's an upper deck collector's choice. O S U T A S R. Oh, am I freaking retarded? What the hell does that say down the side of the card? Oh, maybe that's a Q Q. Oh man. That is whack. I don't know what the hell that shit's supposed to say. Maybe I'm supposed to be drunk and 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 read that card because sober. I certainly don't know what the hell that card says, but it's a Ben Grief card, and I've never seen it before. Star Quest. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Bowman's best. Yes, dude. I remember his cards were like freaking fire. Travis Lee. Get Travis Lee cards and put them in your safe deposit boxes. Yes. Star Quest. Oh, my God. It's it's all jumbled up. Yeah, I, I should be. I should be drunk. Yeah, I should be. Upper Deck MVP. Boom. Ben Grief. Uh, victory. Victory is mine. Uh, 2000 victory. 
And this is a Skybox. Man, all these brands. Holy crap, I forget all these brands existed. Skybox, Dominion, 2000. And this is a Sports Illustrated. This is kind of cool. I like this. I like this card. It's Fleer 98, but it's like a Sports Illustrated. I don't know if it's an insert or what, but that's very glossy. And I actually really kind of dig that uh, that photo. It's a really nice action shot there. I like that. So that's nice. Let's let's do it, man. Jackie Frost, what up? How you doing? <laughs> I might be able to, but I don't think I. Uh, I don't think I want to. <laughs> Dude, I gotta hit. I gotta hit a thousand Donnies before I hit a thousand anybody else. Um, I'm still, you know, I'm still a fair way away from a thousand. I'm about three hundred and change away from a thousand Donnies. So I got some work to freaking do. Jack Frost football. Two thousand tops. Kind of reminds me of the 1970 tops in a lot of ways, just because of the gray borders and they were kind of blandish, you know, in their own way. But um, yeah, it kind of reminded me of the two, 1970 tops. But that's a nice card, and we got the Omega. I am the Alpha. You are the Omega. Sideways card. Pacific. Pacific always made some cool stuff. I couldn't get all photos down the TV screens. I want to do a race to 10,000 Ben Grieve cards. All right, everybody, send me all your Ben Grieve cards, okay? <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> StarQuest. All right, see, I can read that one right there. It says StarQuest. I can read that, and I'm not drunk. And that's Collector's Choice, and that's Embossed. That's right there. That's a little embossing on the back. That's kind of weird. I don't know. It doesn't come on the front, but right there. That's embossed on the back of that card. And there we got some. We got some metal universe. Metal. Metal universe. I love metal universe. This is out of uh, 97, I think. 99, 99, I believe 99. This is a Fleer, 1999 Fleer. I think these are based off the 63 Fleer design. I believe that's that. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Another one of those. An upper deck black diamond. Black Diamond. Black Diamond. Those are nice, too. The Black Diamonds. This is out of uh, 99 Black Diamond. And there's Ben looking really introspective on the back. What's Ben thinking? Ah, cool one. Actually, this is this is cool. This actually may not even go in my A's binder. Um, this may go in my dugout slash... Helmet slash bat rack collection because that's cool. I have some wacky stuff, some wacky collections, but that's a cool man. He's sitting right in front of the, the helmets there, so that's probably going to go in that collection. That's that's a fine looking card. I like that. Yeah, I got some weird stuff going on in my my PCs, man. I got some weird stuff. I'm always going through my my back catalog of cards, pulling out stuff for weird weird collections. Oh, it's a Topps Finest. This is a nice one. I don't believe it's a refractor. I think it's just a regular old Topps Finest, which is nice. That's a 99 Topps Finest. Very nice. Very nice shinage. Shinage. And then we got a more Metal Universe. No, I'm sorry. It's Black Diamond, not Metal Universe. Black Diamond. Black, 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 Black Diamond. Star Quest. Upper Deck. This is a 1999 Upper Deck Base. Base. Base, base, base. 
So what are we drinking tonight, boys? What are you drinking? What are we drinking, John? And we got one of these collector's choice little pop out things where you pop out the head and stand it up and make a little stand up out of it. That's kind of cool. I like little novelty things like that. That's kind of fun. Unique. Ah, now we're getting some modern stuff. Got a 2017 Mark Kana. I wonder if there's any Matt Chapman's in here. Hopefully there is. We'll see. Ryan Dull. Man, that guy's dull. Dude, this dude is dull. That's a 2016 Ryan Dull. And then one of my not so favorite things in the world, Donruss. Uh, not a big fan of Donruss. 2016. Uh, Billy Burns. I just, I can't, I don't know. I can't get past a no logo thing. I just can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. I mean, I do have them in my PC if I, you know, acquire them this way, but I don't go out and purchase them. Oh, love the Crown Royals. Dude, any Crown Royal is a good Crown Royal, and that is a Ben Grieve Crown Royal. Those are freaking nice cards. Nice. See some shine there, boy. Some shine. You want me to get you something to drink, Victor? I could maybe I could send it. Uh, yeah, no, I can't, man. Can't help you there. And we got a Bowman Chrome, a two thousand, a two thousand Bowman Chrome. Yeah, I think it's a two thousand Bowman Chrome. Ben Greve. So we're back on the Ben Greve. Back on the Ben Greve. Think Blue seventy seven. How you doing, sir? I am doing fine. What about yourself? Thank you for coming on, joining the party. I'm just uh, going through a huge box of cards. I just uh, cheap, 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 cheap. Picked up a whole load of Oakland A's cards that I'm going through. Uh, this is a EX. Nice EX from Fleer. That is nice. Oh, I keep on. I keep on. I'm using the phone. I'm down here, but there we go. I apologize, guys. Some more nice shine right there for you. Watch out for those retinas. Excellent. Happy weekend, bro. And a couple of 94 draft class, some upper deck draft first round. Pretty nice rock there. And then we got top prospect. Ooh, guess who this is? Guess what this card is? Ben Grieve. Ha ha. Upper deck. Ben Grieve. Dude, this is 1,300 Ben Reeve cards. Oh, man. Uh, supernatural. Skybox, the Supernatural MM Skybox. Um, again, never seen these before. Very cool. Very chimey. Look at the chime. Nice. This is out of uh, 1999. It's cool, man, going through stuff like this and seeing stuff I've never seen. I love it, love it, love it. Havana Club Cuban Rum. I've got Hornitos. Tequila. I've got Maker's Mark. And I think I got a bottle of Jack in there. I think I'm feeling I think I'm feeling the Hornitos. The Hornitos. That's what I think I'm feeling. And then we got another Black Diamond. Another Black Diamond. So, no, I'll be hooking up any of the, all these doubles. I'll be hooking up my uh, Oakland A's brothers uh, with some stuff after I go through these uh, these Sons of Guns. And then we got a 19. Oh, let's see. This is 2017 Heritage, Ryan Madsen. That's pretty cool. That's nice, like Risa. We got an 81 Tops, Bob Lacey. The 1981 Tops. Classic for me because that was the first actual set I ever built as a kid. That was the, I mean, I bought cards when I was younger. You know, I bought cards in 77 and 78. Didn't buy cards in 79 and 80, but picked it back up in 81. And this was the first set I, uh, I put together. Um, I remember completing it, but it was beat to shite. I wish I still had it, but it was definitely uh, years ago. I tossed it. It was kind of stupid, but. 
I since then have purchased another 81 Tops complete set, but I just remember putting a set together with a buddy from school. It was the one of the best things, man, to do pack by pack trading and, you know, those last 10 elusive cards. That was just a great time. 81 Tops will always remain special in my heart. I have not tried Jack Daniels Honey, but I probably think I'd like it. I would think I like it. And then we got a 16 Kendall Graveman. I wonder if he digs graves in the offseason. Then we got a Sunny I Cannot Pitch in New York Gray. And we got, oh, cool. This is awesome, man. This is 98 Ben Grieve from Donruss. Ah, nice. We got a couple more Greaves. Stadium Club draft picks. A couple of those right there. Look how handsome he is. All right, what do we got here? And then we just got a regular old Stadium Club base. A little shiny and glossy there. And uh, upper deck, upper deck ionics. I always kind of dug those cards. Those are pretty cool. Very '90s, but very cool at the same time. Very shiny, 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 shiny. Here's one of those weird, off, non-licensed, crappy ones. And then got a couple upper deck star rookie. Yes, you guessed it, Ben Grieve. Ben Grieve. Now this one, this one is a got a stamp on it this says premier edition so what are they numbered the same no this is card 280 and this is card 10 of 10 so this must be like an insert set insert set dude it's a, you know what um i just picked up this box of ace cards for such dirt cheap 1300 cards it was like dirt dirt cheap and the this is a great way to do it because there's stuff in here i've never ever seen and it's just fun to go through and and uh, check out um doing it with yankees cards would probably be uh tough because you know they command more of a more of a premium so that's why you know i go to my my side bitch over here and i do the ace so, all right, so we got some of these best cards. These are Modesto. These are minor league cards, all the same. We got a stack of these. Ben Grieve. Yes. And we got a couple upper deck top prospects. Um, ben Grieve. I, I don't remember the year of these. I think these are like 98 or 99, 95s. 95s. Yes, 95s. So those are those. And then we got this upper deck top prospect. Uh, again, probably an insert set of some sort, I am assuming. Yep, because the back is just all kind of, you know, bio stuff. So that's that. And then we got the uh, 96 top. Yes, 96 tops. Roger Cedeno, Derek Gibson, Ben Grieve, and Shane Spencer. Remember Shane Spencer? Yankee boys, Shane Spencer. Yeah, it is very expensive to be a Yankee collector. Jerome, man, for years I wanted to build all the Yankee team sets. Then I woke up from my dream and said, yeah, probably not going to happen. I could probably do it from, let's see. Realistically, I could probably do it from 69 up. 69, yes, it's got the last mantle card, but it's not too crazy. I think I could probably do it from 69 till now. But uh, any time before 69, it's just too much, man, too much. Too much. And they got a bunch of these collector's choice feature foundation. Right there. Ba-bam. And some more of these draft class. Got a bunch of those now. Uh, Skybox Dominion. I think that's a Skybox Dominion. Very nice. Never saw these either. Kind of nice. Nice photo. Nice color on here. Little gold foil action. 
This looks like a 99. I like it. I like it. That's cool. Front and then the back. Eric! Dude! I was hoping you'd hop on here, man. This is an Oakland A's centric live stream. Everything on here. Yeah, you did. You missed like 200 Ben Grief cards, dude. I'm, I'm sure you are there crying in your coffee right now. You're very upset, I'm sure. But I'm sure there's about three zillion other ones in this box. Um, 700 different Yankee players. Jerome, you got to get me another list, man. Get me another list of stuff you got, you, you need, some Yankee players you need. Because I. You know, I got a bunch of stuff sitting around I can go through and look for you. I mean, I don't really have anything old, old, but just throw me some stuff. Give me like 10 or 20 names of guys you need, and I'll see if I can get some more stuff for you. John, I'm going to be hooking you up. It come up an egg. Um, guys, I think we're going to be drinking tonight. So um, I know, Egg, you'd be into that, right? So John is talking about some rum. I'm talking about some tequila. Um, we're gonna see, but I, you know, it's got to be, you know, it's got to be a slow roll here because I got 1,300 cards to go through, and uh, you know, I don't want it to be. Uh, I don't want to be passing out on my live stream again. So <laughs> Ben was good with the A's. I know he went to Tampa and just like I don't know if he got eaten by a shark or what, but you know, I. I yeah, it was kind of sad. Like he he had, he came up with so much, uh, you know, he was so touted, and then all of a sudden, didn't really do much after a while. Hey, I think Blue is digging out a hangnail. <laughs> oh, look at this nice gold label, nice gold label. This is a oh boy. Again, I'm not even going to attempt to try to read the friggin' date because. That nice, 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 but it's nice and shiny and glossy. And Eric, whatever doubles I have here will be coming to you, brother, because I know it's been a bunch. So, and I always kind of like the Spring Fling from Skybox. I got the Derek Jeter version of that. Those are kind of cool looking cards. I know the bass kind of like a postcard. I like that. That's Nito. Nito, Nito. Uh, Bowman's. Best performers, and this is uh, 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 yeah, never mind. Don't know what year, but it's a nineties. <laughs> shinage, man, shinage, shinage. Ah, I should have done up the uh, the Raleigh tonight. I should have done up my Raleigh mustache tonight. I can get it going a little bit. I should be sporting my A's cap. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm losing it here. Oh, this is nice because I actually, that is from 2000 Fleer Tradition. It's an insert set. And I love 2000 Fleer Tradition. And I've put together this set. And now I'm trying to build the master set. And I'm not sure if I have that one. So that's kind of cool because that will go into my master set if I need it. And if it doesn't, it will go into my A's binder. So, uh, I knew you'd be the dude. When are you not down to drink? Yeah, Eric, I'm gonna. Um, I'll I'll reach out to you through Facebook and get your address and stuff. Um, I'm just putting some A stuff aside. Nothing too crazy, um, but whatever A extra A stuff I will put aside for you and send you, my brother. Um, so yes, that's I like that card. That's cool. That is cool. So that go in that pile. And then, actually, this is cool, too. The Skybox Thunder, like the Wheaties box unleashed, that's a cool card. That is a cool card. I like that, too. And orange is my favorite color, so all better. Crown Royal. This is a bit, a little bit of a thicker card. Um, again, some pretty badass stuff um, Crown Royal put out back in the 90s. That's pretty uh, psychedelic. I like that. Luke, go in my bedroom and get my hat off the top shelf. I got to put my hat on. So I'm not doing this on the um... – oh, dude, this is awesome. Ha, I really like this one. 
And it's from Metal Universe. Metal. Caught on the fly. That is freaking sweet. I like it. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Oh, that's cool, Jerome. That is cool. Ah, thank you. See, ah, there we go. I got the old Sprite can version. The best version. Ah, so there we go. Now I'm complete. Now I'm complete. Uh, so that one already. Here's a Matt Olson from Big League. Very nice. Very nice. Put that over here. And here's one of my books. You gotta love Daniel Mangden. Gotta love Daniel Mangden. Yeah, boy. Jed Lowry from last year's Heritage. Uh, what is this? Major League Baseball. Ben 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 Grieve. Ben Grieve, go figure. Now, this is kind of cool. All right, somebody tell me what this could be. It's an SPX from 1999, but it's kind of cool. It's got this little, like, I don't know. I never saw that before. It's got this little, like, medallion that's, like, pressed into the card. So, I don't know. That's pretty badass, I must say. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then just I think I showed that one before. MVP. And we got a Skybox Dominion. Yeah, dude, I might be. I, I swear I might be close to a thousand uh, Ben Grief cards. Can I um can I join the um the Super Collectors Club on uh on you on Facebook with my uh, 15,476 uh, Ben Grief cards. Uh, Top's finest. Gotta love that. Shinage. There's like no Top's. There's not one bad Top's finest card. Don't matter who it is. That's a, just a freaking beauty. And then this is another one, man. EX. Ah. I am just finding some gems. Some jemmies. Some gemmers. Hold on one second. I think I found. Yes. Eric, you're getting this card, man. I just pulled a double of that. So that's going in your pile, Brahim. Pacific Collection. I know I got a bunch more, too, in here. So there'll be, you'll be getting it. So uh, Pacific Collection. And then Tops Stars. I think the uh, I think the uh, ETOH is going to have to start uh, being poured very shortly. All right, next stack. Next stack O cards. Let's see here. This is not a Ben Grieve card. This is a score select. Jeff Russell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a cool looking card. I like it that. And that's what's so cool about the A's, man. You know, the uniforms and these green boarded cards just go so damn well together. And I've said it a bazillion times on my on my uh, on my videos. My favorite cards are anything with green. So green bordered, emerald, anything green, I'm like, you know, I'm like a melt, I'm a, I'm a melting ice cube when it comes to that. It's just the best. And this is another one too, nice one. My Ruben Sierra goes right into my Ruben Sierra collection in my food in my food binder. Who doesn't like a good Ruben sandwich? Eh, who doesn't like a good Ruben sandwich? Eh. Willie Wilson. I remember when Willie Wilson, back in the day. I thought had signed a lifetime contract with the Kansas City Royals. And 
then he became an A. So he must have been traded because I remember he was, I believe, I believe he signed a life contract contract with the with the Royals back in the eighties. And Jeff Parrott, Jeff Parrott. I did. I did just buy all these. Um, Thirteen hundred card lot. It was actually a guy out of here in Florida, about an hour or two north. I didn't even realize it until I checked on my um, my eBay last night that it was being. I was like getting it today, and I, I think I paid for it on Thursday. And I'm like, holy crap, that's fast! I was not expecting it. And uh, I looked at the thing, and I said it was coming from Sebring, Florida, which is about I don't know an hour and a half ish northeast to where I am. It's in the middle of the state where like nothing happens. That's where people go to get meth and, you know, do that kind of stuff. Nothing goes on in the middle of Florida. You know, it's, yeah, you, you know, you know. So 93 tops. We got a Kevin Campbell, Kevin Campbell, Campbell soup. Vince Horseman, Vincent Horseman. Whores. He's a horseman. And a nice, there's a smoke. Smoke. Love Dave Stewart. Love Dave Stewart. There's another Willie. Willie Wilson. Jerry Brown. I'm doing a Terry Steinbeck PC. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Eric Fox. What does the fox say? Mike Moore. Carney the Blarney Stone Lansford. I love, I don't know, man. I love 93 Tops. I always thought they were a very underrated set. They had great photography. Um, it was the last of the non-foil, you know, cards. Because in 94, they started putting foil on the cards. Um, and I just thought the colors on these cards are really vibrant. Just a good, solid set. I think 93 across the board had some really good sets because 93 includes the 93 upper deck set. And I always preach about that set, how amazing it is. Guys, if you don't have 93 upper deck, go buy some 93 upper deck. Go buy the set. It's some great cards, great photography, just really beautiful set. I think it's upper decks all time best set that they've ever produced. Yeah. I know that, 89's got the Griffey and all that stuff first year. But when you think about the design, it's okay. Um, kind of dated looking. I think the 93 upper deck kind of is timeless. Um, just a great, great, great set. Got some really cool inserts. It's got the Ayus collection. Um, what was his name? Dan Ayus, I think, was a photographer for um, – I think he was a photographer for Sports Illustrated, and they did a – you know a subset of different guys and they had the now and then hologram cards but just a fantastic set i i can't speak enough about the uh the uh, 93 upper deck baseball set ron darling who i think is going through i think he's going through thyroid cancer treatment right now i believe he was just in notes with that so shout out to ron darling hope you get better soon buddy hope you get better soon um, Jarrell Cotton, that's from 2018 Heritage, Lance Blankenship. These are uh, Rising Star set from Score back in 89 or 88. That's 89, I believe. Todd Burns. Oh, you got that card autoed? I like that card, man. That's a good card. That is a good card. The crystal method diet plan it really works. <laughs> Sheds pounds quickly. And teeth. Walt Weiss. Walt Weiss. Yeah, I, you know, think blue. What's your first name, man? I'm just going to call you TB77. Um, I've been thinking about that lately. I should be picking up his cards, but, you know, I mean, I have a decent amount, nothing crazy, but I, I should be putting some of his cards aside and getting some cards of his, but I'm not. I don't know. I fly by the seat of my pants and just do what I do. 
Felix Jose, Felix Jose, Felix Jose. Ah, Jason Giambi. There we go. What's that? That's from uh, Donruss Fan Club 2002. Right there. Ah, oh, gotta love. Oh, gotta love the stickers, man. I use these in my binder spines. There's a, there's a tip for you guys out there who do binders. Use them in your binder spines, but you got to have the two-inch binders. They won't fit in the smaller binders. Two-inch or more. They fit great in the binder spines. And we got a Topps foil of Sean Manea from 2018. Nicey, nicey, like ricey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Columbe, Colum, Columbe, Daniel Colum, Ryan Healy. Uh, nice. Uh, here we got a De Dexter Fowler, Paul Blackburn rookie from 2018. Heritage. There we go. It's a Matt Chapman, baby. Gypsy Quine. Gypsy Queen Matt Chapman. Yeah. All right. That goes in that pile. And we got the Matt Joyce from 2018. And we got a nice Jose, Hose B, and Hose C in Soit. Now, that not sure if that goes in the Jose Canseco PC. Or if it's already there, then it goes into the Oakland A's team set from that year, which I believe is 2018. Yes. Yeah, so when I build team sets, I also put the inserts cards as well. I count those in. Walt Weiss Trophy. Yes. Yes. Dude, TB77, You, I don't know if you know, but I'm a huge trophy uh card collector i have almost the entire run um i'm down to nine cards so you could speak trophies all day to me man another jed lowry and we got a maddie olsen 18 donruss and then we got this bowman first year this is casey myers it is not an auto but it's shiny. It's got a mountain in the background. And we got Jared Parker from 2013 Tops. And then we got a then and now from this is from 2018. It's got the Jimmy Catfish Hunter and Chris Sale. Boo, Red Sox, boo. Franklin Barreto. 2018, we got Choppers. Choppers. That boy is awesome. A couple more Lowry's and Barretto's. So you know where those are going. You know where those are going. Oh, a nice Ginter. What a day, Canseco. That's a cool coolness. And then we got some 82 ways. We got uh, Bobo Chinko. Bobo Chinko. Fear the beard. Oh, Eric, believe me, brother, I am. I've done a, um, you know, I've done my binder because I've got probably 95% of it in a binder. Um, the others are in, um, you know, are graded. Uh, the last nine that I'm going to be getting um, are all going to be graded because they're the high dollar ones. You know, I need the McCovey rookie. I need the second year Pete Rose. I need the 69 Johnny Bench. So big cards, high dollar. Um, definitely going to get those graded. Um, so when I do, and I'll, what I'll probably do again is once I get those, I'll put all my graded stuff together and do a graded um, review. And then I'll do a binder review and, yeah, man, I can do those over and over and over again. I love those damn things. And then Steve McCatty. Remember these, the 82? I bought so many 82 tops. Man, it could choke a horse with the amount of 82 tops I bought back in the day. 
And then we got the Wayne Gross. Wayne. Wayne's not that gross. That's cool because it's a batting cage card. And I got to see if I have that in my batting cage binder. That's a cool one. We got to see. We got to check on that one. And then another cool sticker. I, I like that one. This has got the back on it. This is a 1957 World Series. Three games, Yank versus Braves. Four games. So, yes, that's when the Braves beat the Yankees. Those are cool backs. I like those. Uh, yes, I do, Jerome. I do have the 69 Bobby Cox. And I do have the 63 Tom Tresh. I do, brother. I do. I think I'm only missing. i tell you off the top of my head who I'm missing. I'll go through it chronologically. In 60, I am missing Willie McCovey. 61, I'm missing Jim Gentile, which is a very difficult card because he's not a star or anything, but it's a high number, and it goes for big bucks. 62, I'm missing Joe Torre. 63. Three, I think I'm okay. I think I have all the 63s. 64, I'm missing Pete Rose. 65, I'm missing two. I'm missing uh, Dick Allen, and I'm missing Tony Canigliaro. 66, I'm missing two. I'm missing Tony Perez, and I'm missing Rico Petroselli. I'm good with 67. I'm good with 68, I believe. And 69, I need Johnny Bench. So I think that covers what I need. But again, all of those cards are pretty up there um, in terms of price. The Canigliaro and the Petroselli, I could probably get sooner. Um, but, you know, the Rose, forget about it. I'm probably going to do a Rose. I'm like, the best I could probably do a Rose and a McCovey are probably going to be in fives. I'm trying to get at least, at least collector grades out of them. So those 60s cards would be a six, but they're a little bit more out of my range than I want to pay for. And just so you know, guys, I've never actually ever paid for one single card. I've never paid $100 or more for one single card. I've gotten close. And I know for this thing, you know, completing this run, it's gonna that's going to be, you know, gone. But up to this point in my life, I've never paid more than $100 for any single card. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm proud of that or what, but just haven't. But I love these freaking logo cards. Those are awesome. That is badass right there. And Brian Kingman, I don't think this is any relation to Dave Kingman. <laughs> Brian Kingman. Oh, guys, this is going to be a long one. I'm going to be on here for like 12 hours. Dwayne Murphy, great player. He was a really good, solid player for the A's for many years. He played center. Ricky played left. And Mike Davis. I believe, played right field for those A's in the 80s. And another Wayne Gross. Got a Rich Harden from 2006 tops. Mike Bordick, good player for the A's in the 90s. Yeah, no, definitely. Yes, I have the 71. I have the 71 Munson. I do, I do, I do. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't any even uh, imagine. I will never, no, I don't even expect that. <laughs> I had a budget, man. I had to budget myself. I had to spread myself out over the five days. I didn't want to blow my load in one day. So uh, that's why I kind of was like picky and choosy. I was able to find a bunch of trophy cards I needed, though, that uh, definitely bumped me up. Uh, I think I got about. I think I picked up all of the I think I picked up all of the 1960 trophy cards except for the two I already had minus the McCovey that uh, during last year's national. So that really pumped me up on that one. But uh, those biggies are uh, those biggies are definitely coming. Um, and like I said, those are probably more toward the end of the year because right now I focus a lot on the new product coming out. Uh, we'll see. see we shall see. I'm not. I'm not worried. I'm not. It's not a race for me. Oh, go out and buy some more. I need to have some more too. Go get two bottles. I think it's gonna be a wine night. I'm gonna go buy some. I have to go. Got Jeff Parrot. And oh, another. There's a nice smoke. I don't think I have that one yet in the Dave Stewart PC. I don't think I do. 
Yes. Bob Welch. That's a good food one, Mac. You know, Welch's grape soda. There we go. Welch. Bob Welch. And he was a damn good pitcher, too. Mike Moore. Okay. Mike Moore. Uh, Eric Fox. Well, this is Vince Horseman. Yeah. Ah, sorry, guys. Vince Horseman. And Benji Grigsby. Benji Grigsby. Never heard of him. Willie, Willie Randolph. One of my favorite all time Yankees. Willie Randolph. It's a nice card. This is a really nice, classy looking card right there. Always loved Willie. DB in the house. How you doing, brother? Oh, this is a nice Canseco card. This is a score um, Proctor and Gamble um, release. Um, 1992 All-Star Game. Kind of cool. Jose Canseco with them fancy purple stripes. Very 90s. Very 90s. Got to love it. That's cool. I am doing just dandy. I am very happy. Um, actually, um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, my son just got his um, Eagle Scout Award today. So I'm super proud of him. He worked really hard. And yes, I'm sorry. Everyone yes. wants to talk to you. So can Luke, can I talk to people on YouTube while you're. Oh, this may be a first. I have to talk to my son real quick. Um, my wife's going to fill in for me for a second. Hold on. <laughs> So what are you going to talk about? Nothing. Show them these cards. Okay, here. Show them those cards. What's Evan? Okay. Who's this? Evan. Am I mad at you, Evan? Travis Buck. Dude, I don't know who he is. This, you know, Travis Buck. I, 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 yeah. I told you. The car is worth less than what we go for. He's it's talking about the car it. that – oh, Jason oh. Giambi. I like Jason Giambi because he was on the Yankees. Unless it's worth. So when you want to sell it someday, you're going to get pennies for it. All right, dude? This is – no machine driver. Barry Zitto? This is Barry Zitto. Well, you can't be nervous. You can't be nervous. I don't want anybody else driving the car with you. I don't want to be mad. I'm not mad at Mason, but I don't want to be in that predicament where one of your friends drives the car. They Miguel – you know, Tayaga, I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> You've got to take better care of your star. That's all I can tell you. And you gotta figure you gotta figure this out. Ron Hassey. Oh, there's two Ron Hasseys. Yeah. You know what you know who I found my Yeah? yeah. This is the other one. I this right. one, oh it's okay. I like it's a shame, Matt. It really is a shame. It, 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 it's just, I, I, I actually don't even want to. I don't, oh, there's another Jason Giambi. I don't even want to talk about it. I'll be honest with you because it's just, it's upsetting. Yeah, it's just, it's upsetting. This is a nice one. Yeah, it's just, it's upsetting. Well, of course, because I have to talk about it. Yeah, it's just, it's upsetting. 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 It's there's a place on um, Jagger Street off of Pine Ridge that Dr. Brian brings his car to. I'll get his name. I'll get the name of it. Right there. Um, let's see. Do who else? Go, do not go through insurance. Do not go through. You can't go through insurance. You're going to have to figure something out. I don't know. We've got to no, Mitch is going to pay for it, Mike. All right. All right. Oh, you know who I found on here? It's a I don't know. I mean, I'm actually busy right now. We can talk about this later. Mike, do you see who I found? I don't know. My Jason Giambi, because yeah. he's from the Yankees. I don't know. <laughs> I he may be able to. Yeah, he might be able to. But uh, I don't want them contacting my insurance because your insurance is already through the roof. So I don't know. I think they're from Dr. Brian. Um, Scott. Right, I'll get it for you. Hemmen. Right? Hemmen. Hemmen. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's off of J Jagger Street or something like that. It's uh, it's down by the old where the gym I used to. But see, you out. think yeah, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it because I'm a teacher. So, but. No. Nope. All right. All right. I'll, I'll ask Dr. Brian. He'll tell me. All right. It's where I used to work out. It's um, uh, three, four, three, six, four hit room. Six, four, three hit room. Six, four, three hit room. Yeah, this one, this is how I right. remember Jason. Right, let me go. Bye. So I found, I, 
Okay, you were, are you entertaining my YouTube crowd? Yeah, I found um, Jason Giambi who used to be on the Yankees. Yes. Oh, isn't she good? She's good. <laughs> See, he said he says I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, tell him what my father said when I married you. Oh, her father was a pretty – my father-in-law was awesome, dude. He said, you got to know about sports, man. you got to be able to talk to your wife. So she's actually pretty damn good, I have to say. So you told me this Again, to welcome channel. into my world. You know, you <laughs> What's this? You're not drinking that. No, I'm, I'm maybe a little bit. No, no. Not, maybe what is a little. That? No, go get the wine. Go get the wine. Okay. Bye. Wine. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. All right, Luke. What do you want? Do you want any dinner? Woo! Kids. All right, where were we? <laughs> um, Alisa, Jerome wants to know what you teach. Oh, I teach special ed. She teaches special ed. What? Kindergarten, first, second? Yes. Kindergarten, first, and second grade. Yep. But I should know how to pronounce name because I have to pronounce my students' names. But well, that's all right. You know, she can mold them. She molds them at that age. They're still moldable a bit. So. They still like me, so yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> does. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dave Leeper. Dave Leeper. That one's all stained. I think somebody wiped their ass on that card. I don't want that card. <laughs> you threw it back in the box. I th it got in the box? Oh, What's shit. So bad about it? Let me see. Looks like somebody wiped their ass on it. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, this is Benji Grigsby guy again. I don't, I don't know that guy. You know, I, know. I know there's a lot of A's, <laughs> players, a lot of A players went to the Yankees and vice versa. Yes, the Yankees and A's have done some some swapping over the years. All right, Ricky Henderson, uh, Jerry Brown, Stadium Club. Okay, so and this is a nice Mike Bordick card. There's a nice uh, probably a double play there Mike, or something. The yeah, to two bottles. Dave Lieber was the first auto you got. Well, I don't think you that one's got poop on it. I don't think you want that one. <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher, math or history. Okay, Jerome, I know, man, history. I could, dude, I could totally see you teaching history. I could totally see you teaching history, mom, man. What? That's your you thing. Like sushi, or where are you going? That's your thing. Ooh, Luke wants sushi. Where are you going? Sushi. No, where are you going? I'm going to All right, guys. Oh, never mind. Um, Eric, Eric, the Oakland yeah. A's expert. Ryan Long. I know this is one of those front row cards. Don't know him. Was he a prospect for the A's? I don't know that one. And Mike Neal. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, here's another one of those Ben Grieve. Here we back to Ben Grieve again, guys. I knew you couldn't wait. Where's the Ben Grieve cards? They're right here. Yay. Here's some, hey, here's some more Ben Grieve. Draft pick. Pinnacle. Right there. Little Ben Grieve action. Thank you. Yeah, if I start drinking tequila, forget about it. Ooh, not a good idea. I keep it the wine. We'll stay with the wine. And we got Bowman Ben Grieve. Bowman, 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 Bowman. Bowman. These are actually... Pretty fugly looking cards. And then we got this Ben Grieve. Blah, I don't know. That's a uh, minor league card. And there's another Jeremy Giambi fan club. Do, 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 do. Travis Buck. Actually, really like this. Uh, this is what 2007 Upper Deck, I think. I actually really like the 2007 Upper Deck. These are pretty nice cards. Nice design, nice photography. These are pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I would I would take your class in a second, man. <laughs> This is a class about prohibition. <laughs> Scott Hemond. Hemond. Hemond the Demon. 
I love the fact that Eric knows that these guys never made it and who they are. This Mike Neal and this and this Ryan Long. That's awesome. I love it. This is a 1992 draft pick, Jason Giambi. Oh, my God. Look how freaking skinny he is there. Damn. Holy smoke. He is a freaking rail. Wow. Oh, a nice gold. I never saw these in gold. I only see them in silver. There's a gold hollow sticker. That's cool. Ron Hassey from the beautiful 1990 Don Ross set. Yeah, where's your phone? Uh, probably behind me somewhere. Bud. All right. I'm going to use that. Another Ron Hassey. Oh, we get into the Ron Hassey stack now. Ah, 91 oh, yeah, Bowman. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. 89 or 91. Or 90. I don't know. They all look the same to me after a while. Well, here's a nice Miggy. Here's a nice Miggy Tejada from Upper Deck, 2003. The nice looking card. And he is sporting the old 70s version of the Oakland A's uniform. The best version. The best version. See the hats? See? The best. And then here's a nice shiny insert. Um, own the game of Mr. Barry Zito, who's a damn good guitar player, too. Barry Zito. 1990. Thank you, Jerome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, here's another stack. Holy crap. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh, I got this. Uh, this is a Ted Williams. And it uh, looks just like a um, random... Logo and a, a retired number. I'm guessing that's Roberto Clemente, but they got the cool A's logo there. They can punch them out like coins, I guess. That's kind of cool. I dig stuff like that because, again, I'll use that in my one of my binder spines, perhaps. Um, Bruce Bach. Bruce Bach. Oh, that's all chewed up. That card sucks. Bobby Crosby. I don't need a chewed up 1987 boost box T card. Uh, Bobby, Car bleh, bleh. Bobby Crosby. This is from Gaudi. The mini version. Cool looking card. Cool looking card. Ah, oh, King Kong. Dave Kingman. Yeah, it was all or nothing. I don't know, man. Dude, I, I, if there aren't any here, I think there were when I read the description. They're somewhere in this box, man. So who the hell knows when I'm going to get to them. But I hopefully there will be some in here. We shall see. I know I built a couple of Jose's already. But uh, they're Dave Kingman with the rough edge at the top. And Steve Ontiveros. Ontiveros. Yes, it was. Um, it was. I was able to get it for like dirt cheap. I think it was like 20 something, 20 bucks shipped for that entire box. Can't go wrong with it. Steve Chitrin from 1992 Tops. Again, 92 Tops. I really like 92 Tops. Damn it, 92 and 93 Tops are very similar, but I just like the designs on those. Very, very good, colorful cards. Uh, nice Ruben Sierra from Pinnacle. Pinnacle Zenith, very nice. Little shinage right there. Watch out the uh, the refractors and the or whatever the you know the, the laser light show. And we got another Carney Lansford. Carney, 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 Carneys are weird. Lance Blankenship, nineteen ninety tops. What a beautiful. <laughs> Actually, you know what card I really like from 1990 Tops that we're speaking about A's? I like the 1990 Tops Jose Cantego card. I think that's just a cool card. Mike Bordick. Mike Bordick, 92. Nice Terry Steinbeck from 1993. 
Uh, what else? John Wasden. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a pinnacle. This is like a – this is a museum collection. That's badass right there. That's badass. That's shiny. Wow. Woo! Shout out to Ric Flair. Woo! Here's to your health, Ric Flair. That's a cool card. That is a cool, cool card. Jose. Dude, if I come across Dan Johnson or Shane Comine, dude, they're yours if you want them. Of course, man. You don't have to try to get them for me. I'll send them to you. <laughs> yours. Dan Johnson. Okay. I know Dan Johnson, this other guy, Comine, Shane Comine. I've never heard of him. Jose Canseco, Gene Nelson. Hey, that was a, you know, I look at Leaf cards, you know. When they first came out in 90, they freaking blew the doors off the hobby, you know, just a beautiful set. And then in 91 and 92, they completely shit the bed, I think. I think they came out with the most ugly designs in 90, uh, 91 and 92. 93, they came back. They bounced back. But, man, 91 and 92 Leaf, I freaking just can't stand them. I will look. I will look, man. And here's another Gene Nelson. Another Gene Nelson. 1990. Ron Darling. Another Ron Darling. Jeannie Quirk. Quirk, quirk, quirk. He was around for a long time. Here's another Ruben Sierra. Another one of those Pinnacle Zenith editions. Very nice. It's a very nice looking card. Very nice. Jeff Parrott. We've seen that one about a gazillion times. Brooke Jacoby. 92 Donruss. And that's 92. Let's speak of 92 Donruss. Let me speak of it. I think it might be. I think I think every ace card that ever existed might be in that in this box. I think it's like the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It's just going to keep going and going and going and going and going and no end. There, it, it's a good point, Victor. <laughs> I have not come across a Mac yet. Hopefully, you know, I don't know. When I, when I read the description, I could have sworn there were some Mac cards in there. Um, there I think there is. I think there are some. I think we're going to come across some. Uh, we got here. We got a Craig Paquette rookie. Craig Paquette. Look out. Look out. God rest his soul. Hendu. Always like Dave Henderson. He was a good player, man. All around player. Haven't come across any brochures yet either. Dude, there I, I got like two and I got like three full rows. I'm not even done the first row yet. <laughs> he probably did. Oh, guys, I know you're waiting for this one. I know you're waiting for this one. And you're probably all going to leave after this one, Sean. Yeah, Todd Van Poppel. I knew that one. I, I knew that guy would, that would get you guys. Oh, yeah. And it's a triple play. <laughs> ha. Storm Davis. Kurt Old. Another Kurt Old. And a Matt Old. Yeah, dude. Hendu was a was a good dude, man. I, I like that guy. He was a fun player. And we got a combo card. Wally and Jose. Fleer made the best. Those those combo cards from Fleer in the in the 80s were great. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. And then we got this nice – ah, oh, yeah, there we go. This nice Barry Zito from Fleer Showcase. Uh, it's nice. It's got the kind of a border, like a raised border frame. This is out of 2002, and I really kind of dig that card a lot. Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is yes. really nice. Nice, nice. Ah, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. I don't think we have Brady. Do we have Brady then? I think we do. What? Great. We do. Yeah, we do. There it is. I actually really dig that card a lot. 
I quit prospecting because of Todd. <laughs> that's that's funny. <laughs> oh. Dude, I was no kidding. I was thinking about picking up a whole like a whole uh a lot of like Kevin Moss cards. I'm like, I want to get some Kevin Moss cards. But there it is. I dig that card. Chewable. Yeah. With a chewable aspirin and target. With the aspirin? With the aspirin. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, that is just a cool card. I like that one a lot. Always like that card. I quit prospecting because of Todd. <laughs> oh, it was a nice run of 83 Donruss. Nice. This might be the whole freaking team set. Well, that's cool. I'll take it. So 83 Donruss we got to Jeff Jones. That is cool. Jeff Newman. Newman. Cliff Johnson. Gotta love gold Cliff Johnson. <laughs> Wayne Gross. Bob Tierney. Mickey Klutz. I wonder if he was really a Klutz. It's a good name. It's a good name, Mickey Klutz. That and Johnny Walkenfuss. In fact, I think I'm starting a Johnny Walkenfuss collection. Jimmy Sexton. Is auto. It's an IP and a 99 tops. Congratulations there, Jerome. Oh, I remember that. I remember that, Eric. I remember that. Oh, well, actually, I remember when Don when Donnie came up, I actually watched, you know, I saw a few games of him playing in the outfield when he before, you know, it was 80. It was it had to have been 83. Um when he was up for a while, or possibly early 84, but I didn't remember seeing him play a few games uh, in, uh, I believe it was right field. Absolutely. And then there was, God, what year was it? Uh, maybe 89, somewhere in there. He actually played third base for a couple of games, which is weird to see, but he actually did pretty well. It was, it was mind blowing, you know, it was mind blowing. Um, he did play third base. Uh, Dan Meyer. This might be the whole team set. There, classic Tony Armas. There we go. Kelvin Moore. Yeah. Dave Beard, and he doesn't have a beard. Go figure. Mike Norris. I remember Mike Norris being a pretty solid pitcher. Uh, he was he won 22 games in 1980. Not bad. 22 games, 180 strikeouts, a 254 ERA. That's a pretty damn good season. Mike Heath. Dave McKay with the freaking awesome mustache. That's a badass lip sweater right there. Woo, yeah. Steve McCaddy. Bob Boyko. Matt Kyo. And there we go. It's a nice 1990 leaf card. Beautiful set. Beautiful set. 91 and 92, not so much. But the 90 leaf set, classic. There's Mike Davis. Mike Davis from the 85 Donruss. Stephen Vogt. Or Stephen Vogt. Or Stephen Vogt from 19, oh, 19, shit, man. 2017 tops. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of Yankee fans here. We are, yes, 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 yes. But, but like I've said, man, the A's are my side chick. I love the A's. If the Yankees exploded tomorrow in a plane crash, God forbid, I would be an A's fan in two 
two splits of a second. So, yes. Uh, Jason Giambi, Authority Baseball from Fleer. That looks like it's 2001. Never seen that before. Pretty neat card. Pretty neat card. It's like a silver, silver. I don't know if you can really see it in this light. A silver border there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. There we go. It's getting a little darker, which is nice. Ah, ready for the next stack, guys. Let's see if there's a McGuire in here. Let's see if there's a McGuire in this next stack. Got a nice playing card of Eric Fox. <laughs> Two of clubs. Two of clubs. Pretty interesting stuff there. And we got a couple more of these Procter & Gamble Jose Canseco's. Yep. Oh, here we go again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, maybe not. Don't get excited. Don't get – okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, we got two, though. We got two. We got the uh, the rookies, Todd Van Poppel from Donruss, 91 Donruss. And then – We've got the score rookie version, uh, 1992 rookie of Todd Von Poppel. Todd Von Poppel. Todd Van Poppel of Pimple. 1993 upper deck. I don't know, guys, but that is just freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous design. Just look, just, just look at it. Just let it envelop your soul. See, Jerome, I, I knew there was shit I liked about you, brother. <laughs> this is the only other uh, non-New York hat I own as well. I own all Yankee hats except for this one. There you go, man. Tony Phillips, great player. Just a good solid – I say great player. Really good solid player for a long time. Ron Hassey, 89. Don Russ. And there's an ugly 1991 Leaf. Ugly, ugly, ugly. 85 tops. 85 tops. Bill Kruger is a nice Steinbach. Terry S. And then we got some of these uh, with 90 Bowman's. Oh, yeah. Got a little stackage going on here. So this is uh, the Mike Moore. And we got the Reggie Harris. Scott Sanderson, who just passed away in the last couple of weeks. He just passed away. Yep, 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 he did. Dave Otto. Otto von Bismarck. And there's uh, Dave Stewart. Look at that mean son of a gun. Look at him. Look at that. He'll kick your ass. That guy will kick your ass. Rick Honeycutt. Honeycut is a nice carny. Carny. <laughs> Scott Hemond. Felix Jose. Oh, I like 88 score. They, uh, the 88 score is great, man. How, how do you, um, Yes, Eric. Yes. Yes. Dennis Eckersley says, hey, what's up, guys? Oh, another Ben Grieve. Wow. Stacks open Grieve. 
Uh, some classic 91 classics. So we got uh, the start off the run of three. We've got Joe Solarski. Joe Solarski. And then the next one. Hosey. Hosey Canseco. There we go. Dave Henderson. Nice. Nice, nice, man. Holy crap. All right, so then we got some of these uh, United States Baseball Federation cards. Looks like they were made in somebody's basement. Um, Joe Solarski and Ted Wood. Ted Wood. <laughs> Eric Show or Shao, I believe he is deceased. And 19, 1986, Keith Atherton. Keith Atherton. A nice Ruben Sierra. Out of Stadium Club. Ricky is doing a signing. Yeah, I got a, I got a Ricky Auto on a picture that I got years and years ago at a at a show. I'd love to get it certified too, but nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. It's nice too because he's in a he's in his A's uniform, and uh, it's cool because he's wearing his number thirty five, not number twenty four. Uh, Baseball America, Bubba Crosby. I don't didn't know he played with the Red, the A's, Bubba Crosby. And then Chad Harville. Chad Harville. DB, that's not the guy you were talking about, was it? Chad Harville before? I don't think so. Oh, here's old school. Some steer, uh, steer, some Fleer star stickers. Tony Armas. It's 81. There we go. That's cool. That's throwing it old school. I like that. And a nice Terry Steinbach from Score. This is 91 Score, I believe. Yeah, it's cool. That's a nice one. And Dan Allison. And then another one of those. Bob Welch from 1990. Lance Blankenship, Doug Jennings, <whistles> Doug Jennings, Terry Steinbach. There's got to be Mac Max in this box. I, I I can't imagine there's not. There's a nice uh, Jose from Leaf, 1990 Leaf. 1994, Vince Horsman. Mikey Moeller. 95 tops, Steve Ontiveros. I have always liked the 95 tops too. This little, you know, they went a little different this year with the with the rough like border here. Kind of cool, different looking. Uh, 95 tops didn't do well because of the strike in 94, so they made a bit of a smaller set. Um, I remember for a while the um, the factory sets for 95 tops, they may still be kind of at a premium, but they, they were for a while. They were a little bit expensive. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going for now. I haven't really looked, but the uh, yeah, those uh, 95 tops uh, factory sets were, were going for pretty good money for a while. Uh, here's another Tony Phelps from 88, Don Ross, and another Canseco from 90. Cards we've all seen ad nauseum. Ad nauseum, but what the heck, we're hanging. My wife's bringing the wine home. Alfredo Griffin, Bobby Welch. Bob Welch, 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 Welch. Jeff Newman from 81, Don Ross. 
go. Here's a Canseco, one of those playing cards. He has a couple of playing cards. Canseco playing cards. These are called Major League Baseball Aces. We got a King Arts and an Ace of Clubs. We got that one in him, Batten. And then this one is his just hanging out, I guess, getting ready to hit. Those are, those are kind of cool. And there's a Mike Moore. Mike Moore from that same, same grouping. Here's another Terry Steinbach. Dave Henderson. Mike Gallego. Jose Canseco. Ah, oh, you're going to Oakland in July, huh there, Eric? That's cool. Eric, are you from that area originally? Is that how you be why you're an Ace fan? Because you're in Texas, right? Don't you live in Texas? Walt Weiss. Oh, this is badass. This is badass for a couple of reasons. For three reasons. First of all, it's Ken Phelps. How do you not love Ken Phelps? Check out the big ass flavor saver. And then the freaking glasses. Now, come on. How do you not love that card? Ha <laughs> ha. That's freaking awesome. Darren Lewis. Darren Lewis. And then we got one of these. Rated rookies of Ryan Healy. Ryan Healy there. And then a George Williams. This is 19. Uh, this is a Donruss. This is what? 95 Donruss? 96 Donruss. This is actually a nice looking card. That's a cool card. George Williams. Nice. I love catcher cards. Those are cool. I know, right? <laughs> I know, Victor, wasn't that like a thing on uh, – that was a thing on Seinfeld. Didn't they mention that on Seinfeld about the Jay Buhner for Ken Phelps thing? I, I'm pretty sure it was. And Doug Jones. And then maybe one of the worst card sets ever produced, 1996 Fleer. Wow, Steve Wojcicki. Yeah, like this this is this card set was produced from like the old uh, shopping bags that your mom threw away from the freaking uh, grocery store. I think they got those out of the garbage and made baseball cards out of them. I hate these. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's cool, man. You're going to get to you're probably going to uh, guess meet meet mate and mate. Meet Nate and Eric, I'm assuming. George's dad was pissed about it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are into like All in the Family. I totally am into All in the Family in those 70s sitcoms, like big time. Uh, they're doing a live, a new version next Wednesday. I think on ABC they're doing a live in front of studio audience. So we'll see. Um, I'm sure nothing's going to touch the original. Um they can't get away with half the stuff they used to get away with. So we shall see. Here's a worn out Brent Gates. See, it's all worn out and shitty. Get rid of that. I don't want it. I don't want it. Jeff Parrott. Jeff Parrott. There's a Terry Steinbach. Yeah, man, where are the Max? I want some Big Max. I'm craving some Big Max. Mike Gallego. Oh, that's cool, man. That is awesome. That's going to be fun. Here is the other Canseco. Ozzy. Ozzy. And there's the other Canseco. All right. Twins. Twin. The Canseco twins. And then we got some modern here. We got uh, modern. This is last year's Bowman. We got Dustin Whoa, Dustin Fowler, got Lazaro Armenteros, and we got Austin Beck. 
Bam. And we got a Bowman Chrome. Ramon Hernandez. And Chris Enoch. What are these at a 99 or something? Yeah, I think these are 99 Bowman Chrome. Chris Enoch. And then we got a really effed up 88 Tony Bernazar. It's all like been, I don't know if the cat got a hold of this one, but it's like all gouged and shit. Why do I want, why do I want that? Here's a Bob Welch all-star card. Alfredo Griffin. Fettuccine Alfredo. Yes, 88 tops traded. And he also had one in um he also had a card in the 88 Donruss rookie set. Yes. Buner, kind of a cool card. I actually really like that 88. Uh there's a set we all love to love. 87 tops. Eric Plonk, Dave Stewart. Bob Welch. Man, tonight's going to be a late night. It's going to be fun. Are you watching him tonight or no? I don't know yet. 91 Fleer Ultra. We got uh, Kurt Young and Rick Honeycutt. Two uh, longtime A A's lefties. And Chief Steve Chitrin. Chitrin. We got another. Here's one of my faves here. Ruben Sierra <laughs> from Pinnacle. I got this little micro card. I don't know what this is from. I don't know if it was cut out or something. But it's a, like a 91 upper deck. <laughs> tiny little thing. That's all. That's it's nice. tiny. Tiny. Can Walt Weiss. Now it looks big. Can I see? Yeah, you can see. I don't know what the hell that's from. It's like really small, like a stamp. Oh wow! But it looks it's big. Small, it looks small. looks big when I do that. Only ever seen the tops. I want the Tiffany version. Yeah, I think I, Jerome. I think those. I want to say the eighty-eight Tiffany's. I think those are easier to get. Then I think the other, the earlier Tiffany's, I believe. Trivia time, fellows. Who was Ricky traded back to the A's for in 1989? Was it Eric Plunk? Eric Plunk and Luis Polonia? Am I correct? Think that's who it was. Let's look. Look. I'm gone. All right, that's yeah. my final answer. Eric Plunk, Luis Polonia. There may have been a third one in there, um, but that's who I'm going. Eric Plunk, Luis Polonia. Ding, 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 Ah, Eric Plunk, Luis Polonia, Mike Gallego. Yeah. Look what I got. What do you got? This one's kind of cold. But I'm gonna... uh, pour me some. Pink Moscato. And red Moscato. I'm trying yeah. To try to some red. Um, yeah, that's my. I think I'm going to go with Mike Gallego. Okay. I think that's who. Ah, okay. Okay. All right, two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. 
that's Hall of Fame right there, two out of three. So I'll take it. I'll take two out of three. But now that you say that, I remember. You got something wrong? Um, yes, I did. I am not infallible. Even though everybody thinks I am, I am not. How many people do you have on there now? Oh, I don't, there's about seven of us on here, I think. Oh, my God. There's more. MP Fox in the house. Oh, Ow, what is up? No, this is an all A-centric video tonight, buddy. I just picked up a large box of A's cards, and I'm just going through oh, them. Yeah. Hanging. He bought it. Playing, showing. Putting people to sleep. Jamie Quirk. Nineteen ninety two Stadium Club. I believe that's a ninety two Stadium Club. Yes, it is. And another Hindu. I might start a Dave Henderson PC. How's that? Maybe I should start a Dave Henderson PC after I get thirteen thousand Ben Grieve cards. Mike, I need help. You do need help. Vince Horseman. Again, love the 92 and 93 Fleer Ultras. Such a nice card set. Oh, I did it. Look. You did it, man. See, you did it. Walt Weiss. Walt Weiss. Didn't like... Didn't the A's win like Rookie of the Year for like Three or four years in a row back in that day. Wait, McG Canseco won in 86, right? McGuire in 87. Weiss in 88. Right? Am I right? Mike, do you want it in a wine? With this I one? want my wine glass right there. Do you want some ice in it? Yeah, a little bit. Tony, I was hoping you'd jump on, brother. This, 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 uh, this feed tonight really is like kind of all like in honor of um, my Oakland A's buddies. See, I got my old, the old school A's hat, and I got a whole box of A's cards I'm going That's through. The old one. Just shooting a breeze. Gonna, gonna, gonna grab a, grab a nice. Nice glass of wine right here. So why are these cards on the floor? Because those are those are going to be burned. Wait, first cards that he's ever going to burn? Yes, they had. Hold on, the Dodgers had. I know Fernando in eighty one, Saxon eighty two. 80, was it Steve Howe and 83? Oh, it was Fernando Sachs, and I think Steve Howe was – it was Howe, Fernando Sachs. I, I can't remember. Yes, right? 86 to 88. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ah. Oh, I can't put that there because it's going to spill. All right, so since I have my, my Oakland A's boys, most of my Oakland A's boys in the house, I'll go back to something I did when I first, first, first got on, and I was probably talking to nobody. I picked up a nice lot of 1970 Oakland A's cards, almost not quite the entire team set, but very close, and got this for a nice song and dance. was very good. Very happy with that. And uh, a couple of high numbers in here. Got this uh, Ronald Clark. Got this Freddie Talbot. And got the Thomas Reynolds or T 
Tommy Reynolds, as we like to say. Classic pose with the bat barrel. Love it, love it, love it. You should also explain why you're getting I knew, I knew you would like that, Mike. I knew that. Mike, you got to also explain why you're getting these now. Uh, Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy. Got to love Joe Come Rudy. On. And then Sal Bando. Got to love Sal Bando. A couple of paisans in a row over there. And then we got Burt Campanaris, classic, classic Burt Campanaris. Played all nine positions in a game back in like the 65 season or something. Uh, what's this here? Lou Carus. Bando card's awesome. There's Danny's daddy. Danny's daddy's a little off center, but it's still good. I like it. We got Yankee Stadium in the background because I can tell from the old facade right there. And a lot of cards in the 70s were taken at Yankee Stadium and Shea Stadium. And look at that Oakland uniform. Look at that glorious, glorious Oakland uniform back then. How do you love that? This guy's name I cannot pronounce. It's like George Lazarukakua Kuoki. Yeah, I don't know. Kawakasaki. Kawakasaki. <laughs> Bobby Brooks and Mike Olivo. And we got a Bobby Johnson. Bobby Johnson. Kawakasaki. Or Bob Johnson. Love those cards. Felipe Alou. Now that's a classic. Yeah, that's a classic I shot from of the 70s tops. You know, the guy with the outer hat. Obviously not in an A's uniform there. He played for the uh, Braves yeah. the year before, so he's obviously in a Braves uniform in that picture. But uh, that's what they got to use there. Today, so. so that's oh. that's where I don't, you know, that's what drives me crazy about the seventy good. tops. But otherwise, this set has grown on me so much it. as I've gotten older, and I it's love this card of Blue Moon huh? with the obelisk in the back. I don't know what that is. If that's like. Yeah, it looks like a wa I guess two yeah, water towers. Yeah, I didn't get off for Gary's on thing. You gotta love um, you gotta love a card with water towers in the back. Alright. I have no clue. Did he take off? I have no clue. And if, got, I mean, can't take off. I'll probably go with pop up or something because I have nothing to do. Dick Green. Infielder if, for I mean, the no. infielder for those uh A's teams of the early 70s. Got I'm gonna ask Evan, he's not home right Ron now. Ron Euler. Awesome. Yeah. Water Towers P. Oh, Victor, don't get me started, dude. I will go through every card I have and look for Water Towers on cards and try to put together a next freaking week, water. Right. Don't get me started because I'll do it. I will do it. Yeah, for the next weekend, yeah. I look for all that quirky shit. You know that. It's going to be fun. There's That's Tito. Eddie, dude, you got. All right, this is the best. You know, got to love this. Ooh. Tito Francona, but you know, oh, true Paisan, when your name is Patsy, your guy. middle name is Patsy, John Patsy Francona, yeah, they're giving, you know he's eating the scungeel yeah, at night. You know he's eating the scungeel. And it's so dumb because we have like a whole week. Like, and what else we got week? here? Oh, the Vita yeah, Blue rookie yeah, card. And the so, Gene Tennis rookie yeah, card. That's a good rookie week, card. Like, that is a Monday, good Monday, rookie Monday, card. Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we got the Chuck Dobson. And I had explained earlier to Victor, I think he was on when I came on. This guy is the guy sliding into home plate on the 1971 Topps Thurman Munson card number five with the trophy on it. Chuck Dobson. That's who it is right there. Oh, wow. Boom. And. Yes, ma'am. Look at me. Al Downing. Good, Bert. Man, the Bert are pretty close. What? Suck what? Doing this. No. Mike, I want to watch TV. You can, you can watch TV. And there is the John McNamara great manager card by the cage. You got to oh, love that. Mike, and then we got the Paul Lindblad card. What are you guys been doing? I'm going to put the TV on. And we can put the TV on. And we got the Jim. 16. Rolling the card. Now wait a second. I was yeah, I need to get my permits. So I was permits. doing something earlier. Yeah, Where is it? I wonder if Victor found the answer. I know. Yet. I need to do it, but like I'm so busy every weekend. 
Dick Green's niece no, and you're standing in line for the night. Ah! How'd you get on that subject? How'd you know it was his niece? Dad's like, you want to pull out the card today? I'm like, no. Teo, hey, what's up, dude? Like, freaking, like, How you doing, man? Do I'm like, oh, I'm good. All right, guys. You guys are going to get this in like a split second. And I'm like, Victor. Or no, it was John. I'm not yeah. sorry. I'm, it was John. It was it was Cuban Collector. It was Chico. Yeah. All right, guys. Here's a piece of my trivia. And said he'll help me, you know, what very, 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 very important so classic I'm so busy. I'm home like, run did he give up? Just, like, this is an easy one. What very classic important home run did he give up? No. I know somebody's going to get that in a second. Yay! Cheers, Matthew. And the other thing I love about that, the second part of that trivia question is, who was playing left field during that home run? Who was playing left field and climbed up the fence? Yeah, so he like yeah, brother. Plastic and then we're yes. The the Don't know how that happened. Who was a left fielder? Please, please. I, I can't anymore. <clears throat> Ernie Riles by the cage, man. Gotta love it. Yeah. Gotta love it. Evan, I don't know. Mike Moore. Mike Moore. Yeah. I'll, I'll Mike Less. Lance Blankenship from right. 93 Don Ross. I actually like 93 Don Ross. No, he's with his friends. Who was a left fielder for the Dodgers? Yeah. That's doing a video. I actually, again, I'm going to say, right. I'm going to go back to 1993. Yeah, Uncle Brian loves you. you say I, love you, Uncle Brian. Say, yeah, say hi to everybody. Uncle, Uncle, yeah, Uncle Brian's on the phone, Matt Fox. Uncle Brian. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to eat this, Dad. <laughs> Dad, on your, you got to eat it in, on your stream. What? Is this? There you go. Oh, these are... So, how's my Hitman doing? Hitman's doing good. I'm eating the corn-based packing, packing peanuts. Corn-based packing peanuts. Yeah, corn-based awesome. packing peanuts. You can put them in the sink and they dissolve. Or you can eat them. Nice. It's gluten free, and they're gluten free. That's good. Cool. You don't, you don't know if Evan's working on June eighth, right? Hey, Brian. Yes, Mate Mateo says hi. I'm live on YouTube, so they're watching me. And Mateo says hi. Oh, sweet. <laughs> cool. well, tell them Uncle B says hey. What's up? <laughs> tell tell him. I don't. I, answer, I don't know. You know. Let me find out for him. Let me find out for him. Yeah, tell him Susan we love her. That's <laughs> that is funny. Bye. And it is just <laughs> some more ninety three dollars. Oh yeah, but say with ninety three. If I look at like a year for baseball cards, and again, you know, I'm not talking about like high dollar cards, you know, hot rookies or anything, but just in terms of design, design only. I think 1993 oh. has some of the best all oh, around across the board cards. Um, oh, you know, awesome. I think they do. Oh. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Here's this other Dana Allison scrub guy. I was like, oh. Yeah, man. These are freaking gluten free, brother. Doesn't that hurt your stomach, though? Nah, it doesn't hurt my stomach. That, you're crazy, boy. You're crazy, boy. Oh, uh, well, you better call them. All right, what's this? Mom, can you ask him if, he, if he's Cover to Glory. Him? Oh, it's a Ben Grieve card, guys. It's been at least 10 minutes since I've had a Ben Grieve right. card. That Upper gonna deck choice. Are you going to whip this out yet? Whip what else? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> you no. You need to again? No. Right. No. Right. That wasn't no, fun. I'm sticking to one. I'm sticking to here. To, well, I was thinking about it, but it's not that's that just, wasn't fun. That's just a dangerous, dangerous situation. Here's another Ben Grieve card. All right, have fun, Ben. Thanks, brother. You'll come here. I'm going. 
not only do you get me on my uh, videos, you get my entire family on the videos and the insanity that goes on back here. Uh, we're going to another Ben Grieve, another Ben Grieve uh, slot, it looks like. Showing most of these. Now, this one I don't think I've shown. This is a Spirit of the Game Ben Grieve. I don't think I've shown that one yet. That's an insert card. That's kind of coolish. Kind of coolish. And then we got the Upper Deck Choice. Take it. <laughs> okay. What, with the cards or the uh, with the packing peanuts? <laughs> Tony. Victor says, take a shot for every Ben Greed card you show. And I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, three bottles for that. Yeah. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now, this one, no, no. It's a Ben Greed card, but it's a very special Ben Greed card. You know why it's a very special Ben Greed card? Because of that. Because of that. Of what? The trophy. Oh. You like trophies. Oh, my favorites. My favorites. That's a 99 tops. There we go. Bros. <laughs> I've shown that a thousand times. Bros for hoes. Some more upper deck 93s. Some nice ones there. And here's a nice Dave Stewart. This is out of. Com this is Commanders of the Hill. I don't know about. All right, guys. All right, you guys, you card professors. This is Commanders of the Hill. It's uh, American League Team ERA leader, and it's this, and it's got camouflage on it. I've never seen that. Who makes it? I can't read the back. It's too small. But I know one of you smart sons of bitches must know about that. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, showing that. Uh, oh, he's a one of. Always loved Willie McGee. Willie E.T. McGee, man. I always loved Willie McGee. He was a Yankee before he was anything. The Yankees had him, and I always think about that if he stayed with the Yankees. That would have been pretty cool. But uh, Willie McGee is an A, very cool. And there's another TVP, Textured Vegetable Protein. Yeah, dude, that's pretty cool. Yeah, come on, Dustin. Come on, Dustin. What is this? Dustin, Dustin, what is that? This is the back, brother. Oh, it does look like it says a Tops company. I can read it backwards. It does say Tops. I've never seen these before. And I guess something about Coca-Cola. See, I have to use my camera to blow it up so I can see it. But I've never... Never seen that before. Never, never, don't no, know where those come from, man. Kind of cool. I'll take it. I just got one of those out of one of those repack boxes the other day. <laughs> uh, Mike Bordick, Toys R Us, Young Star. Mike Bordick. Must have been one of those box sets. Oh, it's three of 100. Oh, and it looks like a Stadium Club product. I don't know much about that either. And here's another TVP. I think I might just start a freaking Ben Grieve collection just for shits and giggles. Joe Solarski. Like, now, do you have um, Jason Giambi when he's a Yankee? Of course I do. Of course. Now, how would you sort because he was on the A's? You well, no, if I do a player... If I do a player, and if he switches teams, I just keep all the player together. Now, are you doing him as a player or no? 
I don't actually do. I don't collect. I don't PC him as a player. No, you nope. I just don't. I don't know. I just don't. So he, his card would be in the Yankee pile, in the Yankee book, in the and the A's. He would just. He wouldn't be Yankee book. He 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 could be just in a an alphabetical like star book under G for Giambi. Remember this guy, Steve Cox. Here's another. He came up with like Ben Grieve. I remember he came up with Ben Grieve and had a really sweet swing. This guy, I remember him, and he played also for the Devil Rays. He went to the Devil Rays and uh, had a one or two halfway decent seasons, I believe. Is that correct, MP Fox? Am I correct in that? Didn't Steve Fox or Steve Steve Cox Cox have a couple of decent seasons with the Devil Rays? I, I just I remember that for some reason. And I always liked his swing. He always had a good swing. And a nice Tim Hudson from Upper Deck. Some Upper Deck shine right there. And here's another Giambi. Jambai. There we go. Nice. Thank you, sir. You have validated my existence. I appreciate that. You know, Victor, I was thinking about doing, starting to do some of that stuff, starting to separate guys by team, and I'm just like, oh, it just gets too crazy. It just gets too nutty. So I don't know. I'm still still debating that. Uh, Joe Solarski, Steve Chitrin. Boring, boring, boring. What was? All right, you know, anytime an 81 Donruss comes up, yeah, the 81 Donruss, they're just so quirky and weird. They're great. Steve McCaddy. I think, I think Ken Oberman was a photographer for these guys back in the day before he worked for ESPN. Um, Ah, okay. He did go off to Japan. Okay. Yeah, I remember he always had a really I, – I always liked his swing. He had a really nice, really good sweet swing. And then Mitchell Page. Mitchell Page. He was a pretty halfway decent hitter. He lasted maybe five years in the league, I believe, like the late 70s to early 80s, and then that was pretty much it. But uh, you got to love 81, 81 Donruss and 81 Fleer just for the pure train wreckness of it. And look what I've got. Yep. And there's other weird Jason Beverlin. Jason Beverlin. It was in the box. It was in the box along with this Bill King. Sorry. Still can't get used to that. And here's a 2006 tops of Shane Comine. Comini. Comine. Never heard of him before. 80. 1980. Larry Murray. 1980. Larry Murray. There's one of those beautiful 1988. Score, Eric Plunk. What what I do is uh, I have um, who 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 where 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 say it again. Which one dealt? Which one, Dustin? Tell me, which guy? I'll pull it pull it out. Do 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 that Beverly Comine Comine Comine. Oh, all right. Hold on a second. Where'd it go? I'll put it aside for you. There you go, man. It's all yours. I'll put it aside for you. That goes to Dustin. Hold on one second. No problem, dude.
All right. And there is a, again, one of my faves. Oh, no, John Jaha. No, 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 one of my yours. faves. <laughs> Definitely not one of my faves, but that yeah, right there. 93 yeah, upper deck. 93 upper deck. Welch. And another Connie Cut, Steve Howard. 91. Uh, 91 score had those really cool inserts, like the rifleman inserts. And I think the Swingman inserts, those are so freaking cool. I love those inserts. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that with my um, – like in my – like for example, in my Canseco – in the Canseco pages of my binder, what I do is I keep like their base cards – I kind of use tops as the kind of tops as like the, oh the controlling factor of my collection. So I use tops as like the, the primary stuff. So base cards are just put in chronologically. Um, and then once I get through that, and I'll, I'll do the same with Fleer and Donruss. Um, but after that, it kind of go, it doesn't really go random, but I try to keep things together that are like just visually and aesthetically pleasing. But what I've done with like Canseco is I've, I've now I've kind of split his A stuff away from his other stuff. Uh, by the end of his career, though, I mean, he was like Rays, Yankees, Blue Jays, Red Sox, Expos, Angels, like like all over the place. But his the meat of his A stuff is all together. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to continue doing that with players like that. But I do have uh, a binder of players who have played for the Yankees, like um, – I call it players who've played for the Yankees. And in that binder, we have guys like um, Robinson Cano. I have Willie Randolph. I have um, – who else do I have in that binder? Uh, Mike Mussina because they played for the Yankees and another team. And I kind of keep all their stuff together, uh, their Yankee stuff and their other team stuff in that. So I don't know if I'm ever going to fully separate everything, but I, I do do that. So – who knows? I cannot believe I've been on for two and a half hours. Where does this time go? I know it can't say go Yankee cards are kind of hard to come by. They're not very uh, plentiful. That's for sure. Oh, that's cool. I don't have this one. October Legends, uh, Dave Stewart. That's cool. I like that. That is very nice. So I'm going to be a busy boy. Busy, busy boy. Jermaine Die. Jermaine Die. Cool. That's actually a, kind of a cool Todd Van Poppel. I just like that card. Just chilling. Ha <laughs> ha. 94. 9 to 4 tops. Roger Smithberg. And there's a 95. Todd Van Poppel. Card number 407. Uh oh, do I feel a Van Poppel PC coming on? No. Marcos Arma, Armas. I believe this is Tony Armas' brother. I'm pretty sure about that. And, and the cool Dave Stewart with the camera and stuff. Some of the quirky uh, upper deck photos that have come along during, the, uh, during their history. That's that. And guys, I'm still not through the first row in this freaking box. <laughs> All right. What do we got next? Oh, here's another 81. Here's a couple of 81 stickers. I uh, got the Mike Norris. That's cool. And Dave Revering. They made a sticker of Dave Revering in 1981. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. And here we go again. Here we go again. A little Ben Grieve for your liking. Rookie class. Rookie class. Ben Grieve. Here's all Ben Grieve. All Ben Grieve I've shown before. These have all been shown, except I've not shown this one. I have not shown that one. 
this one here. Holy shit. So that's kind of cool. What is that? This is. Oh my God. What is that? Wait. Mike. What? Um, Nancy and Philip sent Evan $100 Amazon gift card. What? Yeah. Damn. Little dogs. This is out of, I don't know. Ha. Little oh, dogs. Those speakers even want it. Yeah. And then we got another one of the trophy cards. Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. And Ben Grieve franchise futures out of Fleer Tradition. Little in, I don't know if these are inserts. I don't think they're oh. inserts. They're numbered. They're numbered regularly. We would maybe back in the day we would call these a subset. Remember subsets when they actually look different from the rest of the cards in the set. And then. Uh, the rookies got the Todd Helton in there again. History in the making. Some more grieve. <clears throat> Barry Zito. This is a tops. Gold label. Very nice. 2002, it looks like. Shiny and glossy. Yeah, you know, I think they've kind of like done that now. Like the inserts are what the old subsets were, you know? I, I, miss, I miss the classic subsets. You know, I miss the the all-star subset looking different than the rest of the cards. And I miss like the, whatever, the father and son subset and the turn back the clock subset, you know, everything now looks the, 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 the design runs across the entire series and it just, nothing sets itself off from anything else. So it kind of gets boring after a while. <coughs> God forbid they put them chronologically in order. So you'll have one, you know, prospect card here, and then 30 cards later, have another prospect card. They used to put them all together, so it kind of, if you would display them, it would look nice. They're kind of together. I don't know. That's just me splitting hairs, but I like the classic way things were done. That's what Tops should do. They should make a product called Tops Classic instead of this big league stuff and all this other stuff. Tops Classic and do an old school style set. Keep it cheap for the kids. You know, do the subsets like they used to do. Maybe have, you know, I don't know. That's just me. There's too many products as it is. So, but uh, what is this here? Any plank. So now we go back to the old Philadelphia A's there. The old Philadelphia A's. They started in Philly, my dear. They did one. Oh God! When the eighteen hundreds, early night, late eighteen something, and yeah, early night, did they move to uh, Kansas City in the fifties? And then the Oakland A's came about in nineteen sixty nine or sixty eight. Frank Baker, Frank Home Run Baker. Put those to the side over here. Diego. Hello, sir. Yes, exactly. Like, that was cool. You know, the rated rookies were the first 30 cards. It was, you know, it was neat. It was clean, you know. That was just everything. What is the best card in your hand, a.k.a. Hello, Mike? Hello, sir. How are you? The best card in my hand right now. Uh, let's see here. Looks like I'm going through some throwbacky type stuff. Oh, there's some '70s cards. Oh, there's some. Wow, that's some pretty cool stuff coming up. All right, the best card in my hand right now in this stack. 
I would have to say, let me go back through this one more time. <sighs> All right, guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I go back to the best card in my hand right now, maybe this might be the best card in my hand, but you asked for it. Here it is, Bowman's Best. Mark McGuire. There is a McGuire in this box. And I don't have it. That is cool. Uh, looks like... Oh, 97, 98. I don't know. I'm bad with the years and I'm blind. But there it is. What year is that, guys? 97, 98. I don't know. But there is a Mac. 97. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. So Eric was asking, are there any McGuire's in that box? That's the first one I've pulled so far. But this box... This stack of cards that I'm going through, the best card in this stack. Yeah, reprints and those I don't really go for too much. How about... Oh, no. I don't know. All right. We can start to get <laughs> the best card in this stack. This stack I just pulled. It, you know, I, I mean, how can you go wrong with a naked Ricky Henderson? Jesus. I mean, <laughs> a naked Ricky Henderson or half naked Ricky Henderson, not fully naked. Where's Andrew Mazza when you need him? And Adam Ha. Jeez. So I guess out of that stack, that was the best card. But these are all kind of throwbacky type stuff. Reprints, uh, some Philadelphia A's like that. Morris Martin. And then we've got this Jimmy Fox. This is a Renata Glosso card. That was like a mail away thing back in the 80s and the 70s. Then we got this, uh, what's this, uh, uh, Lumber Yard. Oh, Elmer Velo. Elmer Velo. This is old school, old school. And then Lefty Grove. Whoa, I keep flinging cards. Lefty Grove. These are from the old Philadelphia Athletics. And Connie Mack. Connie Mack. Look at those ice blue eyes staring into your soul. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Are you afraid? Al Simmons. And then we got one of these Ted Williams cards. This is cool. This is a Raleigh. Raleigh figures. Working on it's it's it was straight today straight and I didn't curl it up and it's kind of it's down now because it's nighttime and it's kind of relaxing. But yeah, it's a nice Raleigh. That's cool. And you got a nice Claudel Washington, nineteen seventy six tops, one of my favorite all time sets. And there's Claudel by the batting cage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 1977, Paul Lindblad. Then a Phil Garner. There, Phil Garner played for the A's. Back in the old 70s, Phil Garner. Again, with the kick-ass mustache. And there's a nice Raleigh. Nice 1973, nicely loved Raleigh Fingers card. Yeah, boy. And then a Ted Kubiak. Another nicely loved 73 Kubiak. And then we've got a nice, very nice, very, very, very nice 
Wayne Gross trophy card. Bazinga. There we go. The trophy in all of its beauty. <laughs> and I'm going to put hot sauce on it too, so be careful. Actually, I'm not going to national, guys. I'm not going to make it this year, unfortunately. Uh, here, a nice one. Nice one. Little beater, but it's okay, man. Well loved cards. I love well loved cards. This is 69. Bert Campanaris. Nice, nice, and nice. We love the, the gently loved cards. And then a nice 1971 catfish. So that, those are some nice, nice classies. There's a Mike Norris, 1978 Mike Norris. There's some little, little, little vintage in here. And then a Tony Armis, 82 Tony Armis. I believe this is at the uh, – I believe this picture was taken possibly at the 81 All-Star game because I remember I think it was like – I think Manny Trio was next to him here because he got the Phillies uniform. I believe there was another card, and Manny Trio was there, um, if, if my memory serves me correct. And here's a classic. Uh, I'm still here, man. Still here. Drinking yesterday's wine, yesterday's wine. I'm in a wine mood tonight. And it probably, I don't know, what do you guys think? In terms of box sets, you know, from the 80s, box sets, I don't know, I think that's one of the, like, most famous classic box sets, the Kmart set from, like, 82. You know, I think that was, like, maybe one of the first that I can remember that they did those little box sets. Tony, peace, brother. Thank you for hanging out, man. Take care, okay? And you, you got to love Shooty Babbitt. Shooty Babbitt. Great name. And then we got the Ron Darling. Ron Darling from 93 Fleer Ultra. Mike Davis. 85 Tops. We can just get another one. With That's a kind of a. I like them. Well, never mind. <laughs> Here's a nice Eck. Nice Eck. Peace, Tony. Yeah. What are you saying? Anna Larusa. Ninety-two. And a Carney. Oh, I don't think I have this Carney Lancer. I have a. I have a nice little Carney Lancer PC going on. I don't think I have that card. You ever PC guys that, you know, I just, I've had tons of duplicates and stuff over the years in the boxes. You go through them, you go through them, and then you start finding like cards of God, the same guy. Like, I found like tons of Carney Lancer cards. This is going back years ago before I moved to Florida. I was like, you know what? I might as well just collect Carney Lancer because I got a ton of his cards. So I did. And I, that's why I collect Carney Lancer. Plus, he was a pretty good player, but I do that sometimes. I'm like, I got a lot of this guy's cards. I'm just going to collect them. <laughs> Tim Hudson. Timmy Hudson. That's a nice looking card. Fair Ultra. The Dave Kingman. The Dave Kingman card. This is his last Tops card. Mike Heath. Mike Heath. Dave Henderson. Another good one there. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice. Billy Martin. You got a little Billy Martin. Billy Ball. There we go. That's sweet. Here's a Barry Zito. 2005 Barry Zito. Little, little dinged up, but. There it is. There's an 81 Dwayne Murphy. 
And he says, you spent some time with your fathers today. 81, Dwayne yeah. Murphy. Here's one of these score select Walt yeah. Weisses, but really look closely. He's sporting a throwback in that one. Very cool. He's sporting the old throwback. Love it. Love it. I have a lot of relevant. I will not collect it. <laughs> the Hills cards. I remember the Hills cards. Yeah, Jeff Newman. Bob Welch. Miguel Tejada. True for that. True for that. Dude, it was like Ricky. Ricky. It was like Ricky had a double when he was just before he even had any strikes or balls on. He already had a double. It was crazy. I mean, like. Uh, upper deck baseball. This this is the seventies uh, decade set. This is a fun set to put together. Um, I have it, not complete, but I I'm almost complete on it, and uh, I have to see if that fits into that set. Hopefully, hopefully I need that card for that set. But that's cool. Just a fun fun little set to put together. Another Ruben Sierra. Here's a nice Terry Steinbach, ninety three Fleer Ultra. And another Dave Stewart. And a very cool um, career retrospective from uh, 88 score. They did the Reggie Jackson one where they did a, uh, you know, his uh, career from the A's. And they did one of, he was on the Orioles. One of the very few cards of him on an Oriole, you know, in the Orioles uniform was on the, uh, the next card in this series. And then the Yankees and the Angels and then I uh, believe back to the A's again. So this is a cool little retrospective on Reggie in the '88 score set. I always like I always like that one. I don't know this might is that a Jason Giambi rookie card? It always his his rookie card was in what a '91 tops. Traded? Is this, is this another rookie card? I don't know. I think it might be. You tell me. Canseco. This is a Cola Canseco. All right, here we go. Eric Chavez. Eric Chavez. Very good third baseman. Maddie Chapters. Matt Chapman. Chris Crush Davis. I've been picking up a lot of his stuff lately. Pre-rookie. Okay. And then a Chad Pinder out of uh, what this is, uh, 16 Bowman. Chad Pinder. Oh, almost through the first stack, guys. Holy crap. Guys, I might... Do this first stack and then call it an evening because it'll be three hours. Well, how do you like this? This is kind of cool. Now, wow, okay. Um, looks legit. I don't know why it would be faked, but I got. Couple of autograph cards here at 83 Fred Stanley with an auto. I don't know why anybody would want to fake his auto, but I'm assuming that's that's legit. That's kind of cool. That's very cool. So if that's legit, wow, that's that's a nice little surprise. And then I got an 84 Billy Almond. Again. Looks legit to me. Again, I don't know why you'd want to fake that. Good night, Jerome. Take care, brother. I uh, I appreciate you coming in. Just stock and I'm done. I appreciate you coming on, brother. Go kick his ass. So, Billy Allen from the uh, 84 Tops autograph. Now, I've seen his autographs before, and this looks legit to me. 
Um, and I know he signs a lot, but a Bobby Shantz autograph. I actually have one, and I'll compare it to it. But that is a, uh, a reprint card signed by Bobby Shantz. So I believe it was signed by Bobby Shantz. I will compare it to what I have that I know is his because it's a, a Topps uh, certified one. So that's cool. And then the, looks like the last one here, I got a Glenn Hubbard auto on an 89 Fleer. So that's cool. That's a little. That's what I, that's what I thought, uh, Eric. It was the A91 top traded. Okay, cool, cool. A Glenn Hubbard card sign. Yeah, go kick his ass, man. Show him his boss. And then I got a Beater 91 Donruss. Beater. Why do I want a Beater 91 Donruss? Uh, Joe Solarski. Guys, this is going to be the last bit, okay? Uh, it's going to be three hours and a few minutes. I'll get through this pile. And then um, I'm going to sign off, but I just wanted to let you know. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for so long. I know this is going to be a little long in the tooth. There's a gold card. It's not the gold Derek Jeter rookie, but it's Jerry Brown. <laughs> uh, showing all these already. Nothing crazy there. This is 989 tops. Now, this is kind of cool. Is a Ben Green gold label. There's a Ben Grieve. I'm going to have to pull all these Ben Grieve cards. I'm going to just for shits and giggles throw them in a binder, man. What the hell, right? Who cares? How do you know you can trust PPG Bank? Because the proof is all around you. It covers the you <laughs> it, Yeah, Shantz does look legit, doesn't it, Jerome? I, I have one too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna compare it, uh, but it looks real. Brothers, in cards, thank you for hanging with me tonight. A lot of repeats coming up here. This is kind of cool. This RBI Kings. Uh, Clear Ultra, very shiny, very shiny. Yeah, probably going to throw him in a binder. Why not? What the hell? <laughs> and I got a Topps Chrome with the trophy. So that's that's pretty cool. There's some pretty pretty cool stuff in here. 21st Century Tops. Peace out, man. I'm going to go for another three minutes. There's a more grieve. And Eric, once I get through all this stuff, dude, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. I'll reach out to you on Facebook and grab your address and send you whatever, whatever uh, is is uh, is all doubles and stuff, man. So with that, there's another metal. This is cool. It's like a green, green metal. It's like a parallel. Very cool. So a lot of a lot of shine there. There's a regular base. Anything new here that's different that I didn't show yet? There's a 2000 clear tradition. You two guys, I'll let you know if I find anything else crazy. All right, guys. Take care. I'm going to head out. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Peace.